Oh, the Shut Your Mouth Lounge, episode number 301. Wait. Is that an Atchi I detect? Perhaps. Hmm, but I detect no pink. What a tragedy. He must have been kidnapped. We'll look for him eventually. So, Addy! Yes. You got anything coming on your channel? Uh, probably something on, on Friday. Also, my uh, my workload kind of jumped. I went from, uh, you know, the, the Street Fighter 6 review is, you know, it, it, it needs to be recorded and all, and all that. I went from that to I am working on three videos now. <laughs> oh! Yeah, the Street Fighter 6 review uh, needs to be edited now. The second one uh, is halfway, fin uh, halfway finished the, the script, whatever words. Yeah, I, I've have, have, I'm halfway done with the script for the second one. And then uh, the third one is in the process of getting uh, footage and they're taking notes. Ah. I don't know how they'll come out. They, they, it, it would probably, probably be a thing of like, I'll save up like five, I'll set them up so they come out monthly. And then I'll work on other stuff, and then the more stuff I have, the, the, the more I'll speed up the, the time that it takes for the reviews to come out, because I just want safety. <laughs> yeah. I, I can definitely understand recording some stuff just to load the schedule. Yeah, and like, the, th the thing is that like on my main channel, I can't even do filler. Because like, what the fuck filler do I, do I make? I, I put the reviews there, and, the, and the, the, the entire thing for the main channel is the reviews. I have the second channel for literally everything else. So, yeah. so I, I could probably shoot some filler for the second channel, but that doesn't help me with the main channel. Yeah. Yeah, I, I uh, yeah. But yeah, so that, that's, that, that's the, all of the stuff. And like, while, while I'm working on that stuff, I'm also working on stuff for college, which, you know, because we talked about this off, off recording, I'm just taking note of it. I was like, hey, I'm working on like four separate uh, like video projects at the same time, because, you know, that's something normal people do. You're not going to a normal people college, though. There shouldn't be such a thing as normal people college. The idea of the college is like a mandatory thing now for everybody is ridiculous. I mean, even then, technically, it's, I am technically I am going to a normal people college because it's not it's not like it's not legitimately film school, as in it's not a dedicated film college because you don't have space for those. No, it's a college with a dedicated film part. I mean, that's still pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the best I'll get because the the uh, in in the entire country, there's two two universities that have the class that I'm going to. One of them is the college the college that I'm in. The other one is in is in the the capital. So, oh yeah, but I didn't have a lot of a uh, lot of choice. No, but yeah, that's it for my channels. All right, on my channel, expect Conan, a lot of it, as per usual. And then, in the other days, where it is not Conan, expect Warhammer, as per usual. I've done some videos where I try out the Changeling. I may have some other stuff cooking up. We shall see. On the group channel, the Devolution channel, the one you're watching right now, fools, we have, on the 6th, Friday, tomorrow... We have Breaker's Revenge on the 7th, Saturday, Katamari Damacy, Part 19. That's an important team there. On October 9th, Monday, WWE 2K23 GM Mode. And on Wednesday... My, oh, wait, hang on. We're probably, this next podcast, actually, we're recording this podcast on Thursday, but nonetheless, the next podcast episode will probably be recorded on Saturday, so let's work our way up to Saturday. On October 11th, my sister's birthday, by the way, 
it is Melty Blood Actress Again, where things get nuts because that game is nuts. On October the 12th, Thursday, a short. On October 13th, Friday, Marvel Super Marvel Superheroes. Marvel Superheroes. That was what it said every time you put a coin in, right? I believe so, yeah. And on the 14th, Saturday, Satorit Fator 6, part 12. I believe that's the last part we have thus far. That does sound right. Yes, it has been a while since any of us have touched Street Fighter 6. Yeah, I mean, that depends. Is Rashid on, on in the video? Well, the thumbnail I'm seeing is Blanca versus Guile. Okay, it is not the last, last video. The last video we have, the thumbnail is Rashid. I see. But, but, uh, I'm worried if we went yeah. back that Pink would like Aki, and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I mean, I liked Aki. Oh, she's probably good. I'm just still falling. Yeah. Uh, no, she, please, God! She's not. She's not anything like Fong, aside from from the one uh, like small animation or uh, reference in in her level two where she flaps. Yeah, I, I I've heard that she is nothing like Fong, but oh God, the trauma still remains. Oh, just, just wait until you go into World Tour. Fong is in C Street Fighter Six. Yeah, I I have seen that that he is there as an NPC and he has a new design. Yes. They, they, they I a... really hope that means he. I really hope that does not mean he's DLC. He's gonna get a DLC slot because. I mean, if he does, I'll laugh and I'll, I'll play him a couple of times. But but you know, there's characters that I would like to, uh, to see see back more than Fung. Also, I I just like like the idea of them them adding Fung into World Tour just, just to kill him, like like they did the Ermac in fucking crypt with MK11. <laughs> he has a new design. I... He dies. They didn't kill him, and they didn't kill Fong, did they? No. Okay. No, not, not yet. <laughs> it's not to say, like, prop, the only character in Street Fighter history that is dead is Gen. <laughs> and and, and even, even him, is, even he's dubious. Like, he, he's, he's definitely going to show up eventually. Just being, being like, hey, I crawled out of Makai. I'm going to go fight Akuma now. Well, yeah, no one dies permanently in Street, in Street Fighter. Like, Ed has died twice now, and we know it, Ed. Not Ed. No, excuse me. Uh, Charlie Nash has died twice now, and we know that this one isn't going to stick either because he's going to be playable again at some point. Not in six, but in seven. Yeah. Uh, Street Fighter is weird. Yeah. Any given Shut Your Mouth Lounge episode is at any point a, a suddenly at risk of turning into a fighting games R episode. Do you notice yeah. that? Yeah, I mean, the, the funny part of, part of that is, is that I'm legitimately on the cusp of, of getting out of fighting games. <laughs> you. So, like. You're still thinking that? Yeah. Hmm. I guess that's something we'll have to talk about off recording. But, uh, yeah. On recording. Okay, my brain is turned off. What was the topic that we were deciding oh, on? Oh, fuck. I forgot. Oh, no. We I, both I, forgot. I, I, I forgot before before the recording, recording started. And I, I went, oh, he'll remember it. See, I was like... Like we were, uh, we were talking about something and my brain was in the background going like, okay, let's remember the topic. Let's remember the topic. Well, we'll remember the topic when the recording starts. <laughs> oh, let's see if, if I can, like, if, if I can summon it, if I can summon the knowledge from the ether. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> we somehow got there from joking, like, bad joke titles. Yeah. Bad joke, uh, Topics. Uh, uh, topic ideas. Like, what's one game that shouldn't be remade because it's stupid and dumb and people who like it are also stupid and dumb? Yeah, and, and by, by the way, the, the listener, 
I, I keep on saying, saying viewer, but yeah, listener, oh, the answer to this question is your favorite. Yes. We've been waiting to tell you. And this is this is how you can tell that we, we have some ties to the to the to the super best friends in, in, in the in the sense that we, we watch them while growing up because because we're just stealing a bit. <laughs> yeah. What what is what is comedy aside from stealing a bit? Yeah, really. I, replacing the words to make it new. Yeah. Ted always likes to say that there's only really five stories. We just put different names in them. Yeah. There's there's only a joke. We just keep ch changing a word every time we tell it. Yeah. Hmm. Son of a... Oh! What, it, what do you think is the funniest failure in video game history? Ah, uh, right. Yeah, that, that was it. And come to think of it, that's one with some openness to interpretation. Because that could be on the dev side or the player side, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the immediate things that come to my mind are like just like Avengers, Skillbound, uh, the, the, the Kinect 2.0 okay. version 1. <laughs> Connect, yeah, Connect Scalebound, scale, Scalebound's one that hurts. I love, I love uh, Itsuno's work. I think he could have done something with that. But at the same time, yeah, what a mess. Uh, Avengers was an iffy sort of thing. I, I, I would have loved for that to have been a good game. But at the same time, I understand that that's also the sort of thing where a lot of people understandably wanted it to fail because it represented bad business practices. But like, who ah, for me? I'm thinking also Battleborn, right? Well, yeah. Of, like, seriously? We're gonna link, we're gonna make a porn subreddit and link everyone to it? It's worked for Overwatch. It'll work for us. Yeah. The, the lead Overwatch didn't, do, dude, didn't just tweet out the link to the porn subreddit for Overwatch. Like, <laughs> loses a bit of its appeal, really, a little bit of its charm when the developers of the game itself are like, jerk off to my characters. <laughs> oh, I, like, I like to imagine that it wasn't even the lead, lead guy just posting it on Twitter. No, it, it was hardcore into the game. That was just a button that said porn. <sighs> Making it inherently a, like... AO, or if not X-rated game. Well, I actually kind of think of it. Does AO... It, does AO rating even exist anymore? No. Well, it, it, it if, can't. If, if it does, if it does, then it hasn't been used. Because, like, the AO rating used to exist. They were thinking about putting it on San Andreas over the hot coffee thing, even though hot coffee was, of course, required mods yeah, to it, access. It, 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 it was right to hell. Uh, yeah, right to hell. That's one that needed it. Oh. The la that leisure that leisure suit Larry game got AO. Oh yeah, but it's it's leisure suit Larry. It sucks. That that is also true. Yeah, I forget that the older game did the older leisure suit Larry games actually have nudity. I don't know what that that I I uh, saw saw the the uh the 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 premise of you are perv, and I went all right. This series sucks, <laughs> and that, that's been my stance ever it since. Okay, I am now looking up for curiosity's sake if that house party game on Steam is considered AO. Nope, it's considered him. All right. Yep, on-screen full uh, frontal nudity and uh, on-screen sex is now just him. I mean, yeah, th thank you, Rockstar. Very based. <laughs> what, what a time to be alive. I mean, as we're talking, I'm building something in Conan Exiles, a game that also features lots of full frontal nudity, so... I mean, I was gonna joke that there's, there's, there's like, a pipeline that you can draw, from, draw between, between, like, GTA doing all the stuff it does and, and, and My Furry Hitler. I... You're probably not wrong, really, because... 
I mean, for every bit of controversy there was surrounding hot coffee, both GTA 4 and GTA 5, you can get prostitutes in the vehicle. And it is just hot coffee in the vehicle. Yeah. Because, like, hot coffee, for those who don't know, is between two clothed characters. No, no, you see, you see the difference is that that's an automatic animation, whereas hot coffee was, was a minigame. That, you know, I don't know that much about hot coffee, but I feel like I did remember hearing that you could, like, switch positions, right? Ugh. Honestly, one of the big ones also would have been Red Dead Redemption. The first Red Dead Redemption had one of the earliest, probably the earliest M-rated on-screen proper sex scene, even if full Abraham was clothed, but the woman wasn't. Ah. Viva Mexico! Yeah, that, that class. You've never. Uh, did you get that far in Red Dead 1? I finished it. Oh, okay. I beat the game. Yeah, that, that cutscene, they made sure to make sure that cutscene comes out of fucking nowhere. It's like a sudden assault on the senses. I don't even remember the cutscene you're talking about. I probably just blocked it in from my memory. When you walk, there's a, a mission that legitimately, the moment you start it, it immediately jumps to a cutscene of Abraham, the leader of the revolution, Abraham Reyes, having sex oh, with a rather guy. large woman. That guy, yeah, yeah I, know, she, I know the one, I know the one. <laughs> yeah, she's on top of him, she's riding him, and John Marston just walks in and is like, oh, god damn it! And that's, uh, that leads then to Abraham's little rant where he says, uh, like, I'm going to get all the women pregnant, and it's going to be a country of kings. Because that's the kind of character Abraham was. Yeah. The, the, the classic rock star thing of everyone sucks. Yeah, Red Dead 1 was actually pretty good about avoiding that, but I do think that it had a... I do think that uh, that was an issue the Mexico part of the game had, was that there's one sympathetic Mexican, Luisa, and everyone else is a complete shitbag. Yeah. Like if, if they spaced them out a bit throughout the story, and and also maybe 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 made it so it's they're not all Mexican, <laughs> then. Well, to be fair, there are a lot of American chip bags, and the, the Abraham's not a whole sight worse than uh, Abraham's arguably in many ways better than Bill Williamson, who was a very different character from how he was in Red Dead Two, and there's also Irish. Yeah. There, 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 the, is, there is Irish, yes. Yeah, the biggest stereotype ever. And when you play Red Dead One and you're a teenager, so you don't you don't think about the fact that Rockstar is English, you don't think about it too much because Americans have certainly had negative types, stereotypes towards the Irish, but we're not as we're not as malevolent about it anymore. But when you remember, oh, Rockstar is English, so this is a Rockstar. This is an English stereotype of the Irish. It starts to get a little bit more like, eh, eh, eh. yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but, but that yeah. doesn't change the fact, though, that Irish get some of the funniest lines in the game. Yeah, and like you know, fuck, I, fuck, I do fuck, 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 fuck. I, I do oh, my virgin ears. I do remember that uh, that that Red Dead over that that one overall they did have the most like actually palatable writing, as in that you know. Some of, some of the people that you were supposed to like, you actually were able to like. They, they, they actually had sympathetic parts to them, even if they were flawed. Whereas the other, the other, the other Rockstar games that I've played, a lot of, a lot of them don't seem to, start, uh, to understand that that's a, that's a thing that you need to do so that people actually stick around to see the end. Yeah, I, I think there was one major character you and I differed on in Red Dead 1. I liked, uh, I liked the snake oil salesman, Nigel, a lot more than you did. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that, 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 that's, I, that's just because I hate capitalism, as you know. Despite it, yeah, yeah, there's a different. Yeah, I think there's a difference there in terms of just sheer basis of being a snake oil salesman. Yeah, because to me, like Nigel is some is of course a snake oil salesman and inherently a liar and a fraud and a cheat. But for all that, he does genuinely follow up on every promise he makes to John. Yeah, I mean, legitimately, if you if you want me to actually give a real uh, thing of like why I might have disliked Nigel, which I, I do remember. Parts of Nigel, like most of most uh, stuff about Nigel, but not not enough to to be able to say is how I feel about him now. 
Uh, I need need to play through the game again, which I will eventually once I can actually afford the re the, the remake or whatever remaster of that that one. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I guess the, the the big thing is that like I am surrounded by snake oil salesmen, <laughs> or at, at least I was <laughs> growing up. Because like there, there's a lot of snake oil oil salesmen in, in my in my uh, extended family, which you know I don't actually re re recognize as my family because fuck him. But yeah. That and then just also overall, like because I live in the ghetto, there's a lot of people trying to pull off S1 on you. So I'm, I'm I just see Nigel and I go, oh fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? It's interesting how like the the way the the, the way and the place you you grew up in, in uh, like changes how you can look at characters. Well, like you know, I hate some uh, people that other people see as flawed but likable. Just because, like, I actually knew people growing up that acted like that, and I, I dislike them, them too. <laughs> but you know, it's it's a lot easier easier to to say fuck Nigel, he should be flayed, or like fuck uh, Katarina from Tekken Seven. I just don't like her. <laughs> she 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 isn't annoying enough for me to actually wish har like harm upon her. <laughs> but still, like, yeah. But yeah, like I dislike both of those characters because I have met people, I know people, who acted that way, and they were a pain in the ass to to exist around. And like all, whenever those people came around, it was a thing of like you have to put up with them because of this reason or that reason. Like one one of one of the one of them those people were, were one of my classmates. And uh, the 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 natural types they they usually just like. I think I've told you this before, but my dad is big into like trading stuff, like ma mainly mainly phones. But my dad is also dumb. Oh, <laughs> like, you know, he he's uh he, he's always been 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 like the sort of person who like in modern times you you tell you tell him that like I don't know. You you just make up some shit like, whatever this this phone. Has gold plating on the inside, which makes it five percent faster. He'll believe it. Gold doesn't even need to exist in the phone. I mean, yeah. Techni technically, it, it probably should because it's a, it's a main part of like electronics. But still, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah, so so like my dad's track record with with trading is just he'll get some junk that that barely works if at all, and then he trade it for junk that's even worse. He's been doing this for all of my life. But... But, uh... Every dad's bound to have an eccentricity tool. Oh, he's a, he has more. He's a hoarder. <laughs> and all that. Like, there, there's a lot. I see. Yeah. But regardless, the Nigel types, the snake oil salesmen, the, the fucking people who, who lie easier than, uh, than, than they breed, you know, it, it, it was just a thing of like random people would would, would uh, come to our house and talk with my dad, and then just fucking pull the wool over he, over his eyes, and and uh, like take away our money that we didn't have. <laughs> so I see. So yeah, that's uh. That's why I least like Nigel, and that's also why why my dad that that uh, doesn't have like access to our money. <laughs> I I see. Uh. But anyway. So yeah, big failures in gaming. Let's see. I mean, I was gonna say say an example that I remembered. Oh yeah, if I see that guy, he'll sue me. So. Oh, you know what? I got another Randy Pitchford pick. Yeah. Aliens, Colonial Marines. I mean, was it a was it a big failure if he if he did it on purpose? It's the fact that he did it on purpose that makes it funny. I guess so. Like, that's, to me, that's fucking hilarious. 
of just scumbaggery of deliberately get the license, pump all the money from its budget into the budget of your other games, and just release a dog shit game, and then seemingly get away with it. Yeah. Oh, didn't I forget? Didn't uh, Randy Pitchford complain that uh, when, that he can't get dates because when when women look him up on Google, it, it shows an image of him edited to be the devil. <laughs> I've not heard that, but I hope it's true because that's hilarious. I, I feel like I've heard that heard that about some dev. It was either Pitchford or it was someone else that that uh, that also runs in similar circle circles. Where, where they complain about complain about it on Twitter that that they can't get dates because because whenever women look look them up they they see a a, 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 a picture of them, them being the devil. You know I could see that for maybe Bobby Cockdick. Oh, might have been. But him, he doesn't yeah. seem like a guy who's looking to get dates anymore. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Funny failures. Who? Okay. Skull and Bones. Skull and Bone. Yeah! 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 Oh boy. Oh boy. That one's not done yet. That one's not even close to done yet, but you know it's gonna be a story. Yeah. Uh, I, rem I remember that just off of the thing of, like, you know, sex pests. Alright, well, some Ubisoft execs uh, got busted recently. Recently, again? Well, no. The, uh, so the uh, the internal thing, or not, not, it wasn't even internal. Internal, I think it was ex external by now. But yeah, the the thing of them looking into execs at Ubisoft, uh, yielded results, and ten ten Ubisoft execs are now in jail for sexual harassment. So yeah, <laughs> good riddance. But. <laughs> Yeah, this this includes the guy who was pushing for the non-narrative stuff. So I win in the end, but <laughs> not only was he not only am I right, but he was a fucking pervert. Things work out. Yeah, it's all coming up, Millhouse. Uh, but yeah, the. Be, 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 and that that reminded me of like okay Ubisoft definitely has failed shit. What what can I actually rem remember? And like Colin Bones is, is is up there. And I I feel I like mean, yeah. Do oh, we the, count Beyond Good and Evil too? I guess I don't know if that's funny. That kind of just fizzled out. They they tried to use uh, free labor from fans. And then it fizzled out when people raised, hey, that, that seems like a, a legal nightmare. <laughs> this seems sus. Yeah. Like, if memory serves, the, ex the exact thing that happened with Beyond Good and Evil 2 is they announced, hey, we need your help, fans. Make us assets for the game. And then so someone posted, hey, couldn't, couldn't this get you into legal trouble? And suddenly, Beyond Good and Evil 2 was no more. <laughs> <laughs> Some guy really thought he was being brilliant with that one. Yeah. Uh There was also that that game that they either released or are working on or whatever, I forget. Uh that that was supposed to like supposed to be like a a card like shooter and the the uh, the advertisements, uh, like the the logo for it or whatever, was, was like the Black Power uh fist or whatever. It was something like that. Oh yeah, it was about yeah yeah yeah. It was a. Uh, it came after the BLM uh the BLM stuff, and it and it was about a evil terrorist group trying to take down America, and it uses the BLM logo. Yeah. Oh boy, I, I forget. I forget if the, if that got canned or if, if that came out as like Rainbow Six extract, Extraction, which is a thing that actually exists, and uh, we can count that too. <laughs> oh right, yeah, the Rainbow Six Zombie game. Yeah, that yeah. Thing. I 
I played it once because it was on PS Plus, and I and I, I went because it's a co-op. It's co-op siege, very pretty much. And I went, hey, maybe we could have fun with this. And I played it once, and I went, it's a game. <laughs> we can't have fun with this. <laughs> no, like I, I feel like it, it would be, it, it could be a good podcast game, but I don't see more. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, it, it's one of those things where like uh, you do you 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 play a game. You, you I don't know if y'all do this. I do this where I, I I will play a game just to see if if it could make good content. You know, I, I don't give give them a lot of times. I, I I don't really go in go into the game going like, all right, I'm gonna finish this game when I do that. But you know, I give them a look with with the eyes of like, all right, can, can this lead to funny stuff happening? Can can this good uh, be like a catalyst for good commentary? And I played Rainbow Six Extraction. It's just siege with zombies, and like it's 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 either siege with zombies, in which case it's terrorist hunt, but with uh, more annoying enemies, or it's Left 4 Dead, but more realistic, which makes it Back 4 Blood, which is bad. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> there there wasn't. You know, I could see us playing it maybe once and having fun with it in the sense that we'll laugh at stuff that we do. But I don't see, I, I didn't see it as like a, as like a thing, thing that would actually be our, our regular stuff, regular, regular game that we play. Which is, you know what, kind of a, a, a bad sign when the community expect is the, is the main part of the game. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what other field uh, games that can I think of. Hmm. Do I do we easy wanna... answer at least partly because now he's in jail. But uh, Balan Wonderland, oh, yeah. or Wonder World, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, ba Balan Wonderworld. I wasn't there also a Balan Wonderland though. Mm, no, there was. No, you, you, we, we, everyone wants to call it Wonderland because that makes sense. That's an actual world, a world that we know. But no, it's Wonder World because it, must, it that doesn't make sense. <laughs> like I, I remember the way I remember the Balan uh, title is all right. Take the name that you want to say. What's the the, the weirdest way that you can you can or weirdest word that you can put under after after Wonder? Originally, he wanted to name it Balan Insider Trading, but for some reason, they kept stopping him. Yeah. This was between between tensions about how uh everything should be on one button. Yeah. Like he he really wanted wanted to to reach a game where you can just press a button, you can just press like forward on the D pad, and the game just played itself. <laughs> Somewhere out there, Kenji Inafune was so happy that Yuji Naka did that, so that he is no longer. <laughs> The most embarrassing ex uh, designer of a classic 2D platformer game. That's blue. Yeah. I don't know. I almost feel like. Well, you know, yeah, okay. Battle in the Wonderworld on its own was just such a clusterfuck. I almost feel like Yuji Naka, I can still just laugh at and have fun, though. Of Like, it's just so funny, the constant insider trading bullshit. But, like, you know, conversely, Keji and Afune could sometimes just make me sad. Yeah, I mean the th the thing with Inafune is that, uh, if memory serves, he he's the guy who who did uh my number nine, right? Yes. Uh, okay. The, yeah. The, the, the makes you cry like an like an anime fan on Prime Night. <laughs> yeah, it makes you make you cry like an anime girl. It end sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Tekken Seven. <laughs> but yeah. Uh yeah, in a in a fune. He did he didn't mind number nine. He did the failed uh like Mega Man Legends spiritual successor, which it allegedly is still coming. We swear mm. guys. But you know on one hand he did those. And though those are funny. And those stink. But on the other, he did also do Gumvolt, and Gumvolt is legitimately a good series. <laughs> How recent is Gunvolt? Uh, I think the newest one came out maybe a year ago or two. 
Really? Okay, I did. I, I, you know, I kind of forgot he was working on anything at all. Yeah, I can't blame you. I mean, Gumball is the only other thing he's working on, so. <laughs> but yeah, like Gumball, at least the game I played of Gumball, which you know, it's all about it's all different different characters, and they all have their own gameplay mechanics. But the the Gumball game that I played was kind of like you know, if if Mega Man is Street Fighter, then Gumball is is Guilty Gear. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, I, it sounds to me like a case of, well, I got to finally make that game I said I wanted to make after I made the game that I didn't get to want, didn't want to make, and it's now tainted my legacy permanently. I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, Gunvolt came before my number nine. <laughs> the really? Series. Yeah, the, the first one came before my number nine, and that's also why people gave him money, because, you know, he made Gunvolt, and Gunvolt is good. So we can he can still do it, and then he dropped the ball hard, <laughs> and then yeah, and then he just went back to making Gunvolt, which is good. Somehow, <laughs> well, if I don't know how to do anything else, at least I still know how to do this. Uh, yeah, because of that souls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's... Well, they were planning on breaking into the West. They did, but uh, not there. Yeah. I'm going to look it up because I remember that that, that source has a cool name in Japan. And I want to, call, want to shout it out because they should have just localized it that way. This will take a while. We can we can we can move on, and then I'll just try it out. <laughs> oh, what's the biggest? Oh boy, uh, funny in some sense, depressing in another. Capcom Fighting Evolution. Ah uh, yeah, that game could have been much cooler. Yeah, it wasn't, but it's so such a fucking bad fighting game that it is nonetheless joyous for just how bad it is. Oh, fucking uh, Shenmue 3. Oh! Oh, I don't... I've never played a Shenmue game in my life, and I still... I get sympathy pain on that one. Yeah. To come that far. To finally, finally, we'll be able to tie up the saga. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, what do you mean the dev wants seven more sequels? Like that is the that is the inevitable Game of Thrones pain, right? Not, yeah, not not only that, but also uh, oh, there it is, Yakuza of the end. Of just, the end. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And that, that's just such a better title than Dead Souls. Yeah, Dead Souls is such a weird title. But yeah, so uh, yeah, Shenmue Three. Like the, the 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 my my favorite bit of that guy uh, is that I think it I think it was either after release or during like development but close to release that he he uh, was interviewed and he went oh I haven't been playing video games in the past twenty years and yeah <laughs> you know playing them fine but he hasn't been paying attention to video games at all in the twenty years. Would you explain why he was like, oh man, I'm gonna need 30 more games to finish the Shinmu saga? Like, you know, no, you fucking don't, bud. Yeah. You may think you do, you don't. Like, you know, I, I can only really, really relate it to myself, and like, even though I don't watch movies, I, I say I don't watch movies because I don't, like, actively or whatever, like, I don't make a habit of watching movies. But, like, if, I, if, if someone's like, hey, let's, let's watch a movie, I, I'll go, okay, and then I take notes mentally. <laughs> hmm, this movie thing is stupid. They should consider doing something else. They, 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 should, they should consider making it on, a, on, a, on, a, on a, like, a digital surface and then make, make me able to control it. 
Yeah, well, let me press a button every now and then, you fuckers. Yeah. Sound a little bit Jim Corn out there. You fuckers. You uh, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm a fucking fucking fucker. This is how this is how we how we are and end up uh, giving David David Kage his lifelong wish and then make it so fucking be be on two Detroits. Is that is actually uh, played in the cinema? Yeah. I love I love the idea of doing one of those games in the cinema. So you get everybody shouting at the guy that's actually on the controls. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? It's you got a guy who. Who fails all of the QTEs on purpose? Yeah, yeah. And he he plays through Indigo Prophecy. Fucking yeah! And I mean, I legitimately would like this to actually be be a thing thing that people do now. I I like if I ever get the funding, this might be a project that I that I do, which you know it isn't likely, but still, like I I just want to actually rent out a movie theater. Get like an actual like you know movie the movie theater amount of audience together and just have them play a game verbally, but the person playing it has to fail every QTE and they only play games with QTEs in them. So it's like, all right, Spider Man three. Oh, <laughs> well that'll be pain just because you see him fall over and die over and over again. Oh no no, they they, they have to fail it once. After that, they, they actually can move with the story, but they, they need to fill every QTE once. I almost feel like, see, that you'd still reach an end, the end, satisfying conclusion after watching several timelines of Spider Man die. I love the idea of a doing a Kage or a Telltale game like that so that you end up with the most fucked up resolution of the story possible. Yeah. Uh huh. But like, also, I also like to imagine, like, like to imagine what other game genres could work like. Over, you know, what other games they don't feature QTEs could work like. Cause like, okay, you go, you go to the theater, you watch Persona Four. The guy is picking none of the options that you want. Just pain. <laughs> <laughs> Yukiko, you boring bitch. <laughs> uh. Like this, this is. I, I guess what I'm what I'm saying is kind of kind of just like Twitch plays Pokemon, but instead of actually being able to control the game and even tangentially, you are literally just there watching someone's fucking let's play, <laughs> but you can shout yeah. at them directly. Oh God, no! That's too much. <laughs> you missed the safe. Why do you even record this? Like, I, like, Do they you miss- play video games? Like, cause, cause, like, they, 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 that's basically the, the the crux of my idea of like, all right, live let's play. You can shout at the let's player. They 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 don't they don't do commentary. You just watch uh, no commentary let's play, but you can shout at the player live. <laughs> God no. Ah uh, fuck. <laughs> Like you know, so, so some people's art pieces are, you know, like I don't know, getting getting assaulted on stage, which genuinely was an art piece to to someone that uh, that I've heard heard about. Uh, uh Shia LaBeouf uh, did that without his consent. Oh, there there was this woman. Uh, she uh, I don't know what her art 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 piece was about, but the art, the art piece was legitimately her in a chair. Uh, and then there was a gun. A knife and like a rope, and uh, you could line up and and go up to her and then just do anything to her that you want for like five minutes or something like that, and that was her art piece. Oh, Shia LaBeouf once went, did an art thing at a place where his whole gimmick was that he had to stand perfectly still and just let people come up and touch him, and ah. some woman forced him forced herself on him. Ah. That was not the idea of the art piece. Yep. 
but yeah, like like you know, some some people's art pieces are, are like that. Some people's art pieces are like you know trying to say something about society by recycling trash or whatever. My art piece is you get to you get to yell at the let's player live. <laughs> I mean, that uh, kind of happens at the uh, like the games done quick shows, doesn't it? I don't think so. I I think you you'd get uh, like carried out. <laughs> carried out. They have a big guy. Yeah. Who just does? The they they have Bob. Uh. No, speaking of speaking, uh, of, speaking, of, it, speaking of funny failures, David Kage, in general. Yeah. Well, that's the trouble. He's not failed yet. No. 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 Well, yes. no, you're right. Yeah, beyond two holes. That's right. No, no, not even just beyond two holes. There, there was also the time that that uh, that he got taken to court and he cried to cried in court about how he doesn't want to make you know, games for women. Oh, right. He actually he gen genuinely legitimately broke down in court about how he doesn't want to make ga games for gay people and women. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> And then Disney gave him the contract to make a Star Wars video game. Yes, and like you know, Star Star Wars is uh, core values align with, with David Kage's. Yeah, a dick and balls farting is the heart of the Star Wars identity. Yeah, I mean one 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 of the the most well known th things is uh, about Star Wars is, is the musical genre, genre called jazz. So makes sense. Well, I. Was I George Lucas has definitely at some point had an alien species in the background that was a dick and balls farting. It was called Glarb Facts. Uh. Or no, what's the meme that everybody was doing? Glub Garbo, Shido. not Garbo. Glub Shitto. There you go. That's Glub Shitto. And then Glub Shitto goes on to have a very deep and interesting arc in the comic books that people love. It, but if oh, you've never read the comics, you're just confused why everybody loves him. Yeah, and oops, oops, now it's all non-canon. Yeah. But still, people keep it around because Glub Shitto is somebody's fetish. Yeah. I mean, like, the, like the thing is, the thing, the thing for me with, with Star Wars continuity, and we, we had a, a, an argument about this, is that, like, my, my take on, on continuity generally in media is just whatever is the latest uh, presented fact, and then, you know, I may not like it, but I'll, I'll recognize that that's technically canon right now. Which is why, why I'm Whatever like, I know. want to be canon is canon. I am the decider. Yeah, see, you see, like, I'm, I'm <laughs> fucking... Like, I think that I was a George Bush line I just said. <laughs> like, you know... I am the decider. Yeah. He, he puts on a cowboy hat. That more or less probably was what he did, yes. But yeah, like... I I am uh, personally kind kind of tired of the people going like that. Death of the author, like death of the author, doesn't doesn't mean that like you just go like you know your your head canon is not canon. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, when you're bringing death of the author into canon arguments, it's an issue. Like there's a there are several stories that it's very valid, like saying like the writer did not intend this, but it turned out that way. But. Whenever you bring it up as just like, well, whatever, I don't like it, death of the author. It's like, no, that's not how that works, actually. No, but you see, uh, you, no, but you see, I drew myself as this chat and, and, and I drew the author as the, as the story jack, which means that my, my hat cannon is now canon. Yep, and I, just to make sure, I gave him his signature hat so that you know it's the author. Yes. If, if Pink were here, he'd say, I've been thinking about doing that with George R. R. Martin. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't even read those books, and he is so mad about George R. R. Martin all the time. I, I want George R. One of the Martin. few things that can make Pink upset. It's hilarious. Like at, 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 at this point, I just want George R. R. Martin to write like five other games, not not books, games. Just just fucking take on any 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 job in in the video game industry that he can. And then just slowly, slowly but surely, start wear, wearing slightly like lighter shirts, and eventually it's re revealed that that like uh, all all, the, all all this time he's been wearing a shirt with a fucking troll face on it. <laughs> like he's just making making public appearances. 
and like you know he 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 always over pronounces like one letter and if you put the le- letters together it just it, it just says game of thrones is cancelled <laughs> Game of Thrones dead forever. I won't go back. Yeah. Uh, fr- friendship with Game of Thrones is over. Uh, football is not my best friend now. Yeah. But yeah, like it, I mean, like I, I have the, I have kind of, kind of have the the opposite or. Uh, the thing that Mike does with George R. R. Martin, but like I've never read any, any of his books. I don't really have any interest in re- reading any of his books, so I don't care about him writing more books. I want want the people who like Game of Thrones to, to shut up, kind of, <laughs> which they have been shutting up. So that's good, but you know. And at this point, I'm just like at this point, it's just funny to me that that he refuses to to release another book. <laughs> well, it's he, he, uh, he. Just that he, he's a perfectionist, and he wants to do it with as much research as possible. I want, and I also, want just, to, I want him to release the next book. It's three pages long. It just says John Madden, John Madden football. <laughs> that, if he did that, and then rode off into the sunset, the double birds flipped behind him. That'd be pretty crazy. Like I don't know what's better to imagine that it, it's legitimately just a three-page long book, and it's just that in, in that in large letters on every, on, on the page. It, it, one page is John Madden, the next page is also just John Madden, the next next one is just football, or 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 if it's like a big tome in the middle, like it's it's all blank, and in the middle there's those three like, three pages, and then <laughs> yeah. all around it it's just blank pages. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh. Shit. So, oh yeah, 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 David Kage. <laughs> we were talking about, talking about him as a failure in video games. Yeah. He hasn't yet had the failure I want. I mean, I am on one hand, I am kind of hoping that that uh, his Star Wars game just sucks dick. But at the same time, David Kage. He said he doesn't make his games for gay people. That's true. I mean, I I can't really, can't really say, say that I want his Star Wars game to lick pussy because, <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that would that would mean that would mean that his game is better than Batman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Poor fucking Catwoman. Uh, so yeah, the yeah, I, I want want the Star Wars game to flop because then that that would give me two W's instead of one for the price of one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, the, the, you gotta get off social media, man. <laughs> I mean, the worst part, the worst part of, of, of worst part, worst part with, with Star Wars for me is that like the, there was one thing that I was actually kind of looking forward to for a bit, which was the the the, the Kodo remake. That's Ken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in Skull and Bones or uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two territory. Yeah. But yeah, I, I want the, the the Star Wars game to flop just because because I think it would be funny for David David Kage to to actually fail for once, like he like in, in every sense of the world, in, world instead of just making bad making the bad game. But as long as people still like the bad game, you know. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like, like I hope I don't. I don't think it's possible because, like, Kage, despite everything, is is still capable of surrounding himself with people who actually know how to make a good game. Despite him. Yeah. So, like, I, I I want those people gone. I want them to to be in better in a better place. 
I want them. I want them quarantined off, off, off from David Kage, so, so that he can't taint them. Go be free somewhere else. <laughs> and then just like like let let, let Kage hand, handle handle it, it, everything that he can. And it, I just I just want him want it want it to just be a flop. <laughs> but but the, <laughs> stuff, but the stuff that we've seen suggests that he still has For to keep the... yeah. A one man game. Oh wait, it sucks. <laughs> it's it's a unity unity asset flip. How could this happen? <laughs> and like, if it was, if it genuinely was a unity asset flip, it would be even worse for David Cage because because. Uh, Unity has made it a thing very Well, now he needs to pay for the installation. Yeah. yeah. No, that was unreal. That was unreal. No, no, no. That was Unity. Was it? Uh. No, but... yeah, you're right. It was Unity. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Unity went, went from, uh, from you need to pay us the X amount of money that we'll, we'll just conjure up. The, the legitimately, actually, the, like, not the exact wording. But legitimately, exactly what they said. It, it was, we'll t we'll give you a uh, a number that you'll have to pay. It wasn't you, you, uh, like x x amount of of sales or whatever. No, it was, we'll just give you give you the bill. Yeah. And and you have to pay it. Hey, time. look, we're doing this on level. Trust us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you you have to pay that after every per every person installing the game. Yeah, yeah. I've never heard so many people use the say call some invent mention something called Godo ever, but they were. Oh yeah, Godo. I don't even know what that is. Godo is a uh, it's an engine like Unity. It's made for two D games mostly, from what I remember. So yeah, it's it's a it's a thing of like the two D devs went to Godo, and uh, the three D devs went onto Unreal. Which means that everything will, will not have pretty, pretty shadows, which I'm fine with. I like pretty shadows. But everything will also have massive update sizes. Yeah. All right, mild patch. We switched this one. We flipped this one switch from yes to no. Three gig update. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, so Unity's thing, thing was that we should be, yeah, we could, we could actually say, say Unity as a video game failure, that, that's funny, but. That is, that is true. Yeah, and that one's timely as well. Yeah. But yeah, so it, it went from, from uh, that to, okay, y'all, you still have to pay the thing, but we also re removed the, uh, the terms of service because, because you didn't read it. What? Actually, yeah, they removed the terms of service, uh, like the uh, page from Unity because well, citing that people didn't read enough. I don't think that's legal. Well, <laughs> and then uh, I mean, I'm not the legal expert, so like, I wouldn't know. But that doesn't sound fucking legal. Well, no, you see, the terms of service uh, had had its part where it said that that they can't change the terms of service. Uh, like it, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't an, an outright thing. It was like I forget what the the if statement was. But basically, uh, the terms of service uh, said that they can't do the thing that they're doing right now. So they they just removed it. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> and. Like ashes. <laughs> so then, uh, everyone quit using Unity. Uh, like you know, big big publishers and big developers, uh, were like, "Yo, fuck Unity." What should I call it? Uh, cult of Lamb. Yeah, they made the bold assumption that they had a uh, that they had a monopoly when they in fact did not. Yeah, cult of cult of the Lamb was like, "All right, y'all, buy buy the uh, cult of the Lamb bundle." Like genuinely, because then we'll delete the game. Fuck y'all. <laughs> well, fuck Unity, but yeah. And I, I, forget I like the uh, also going, fuck y'all. 
<laughs> also, fuck you, consumers. You didn't have anything to do with this, but still, fuck you. And then I forget which... Fuck you, Baltimore! <laughs> Home of challenge pissing. That's right, challenge pissing. Uh, but yeah. Bring your wife, we'll fuck her. I forget which developer it was. But, uh, so, some, like, bigger indie, indie ga games uh, developer released an released official statement. And it was very official, all, all up until the last line. Which, which was, this is our first, first uh, pub public, public statement. That's how much you fucked up. Yeah, that, I, I feel like I saw that, yeah. But yeah. So, all, all of that went down. You would even, oh no, the monies. So now, they brought, the, brought back the terms of service. And they made it so you don't have to pay uh, a fee for every install. Until you switch over to using the newest version of Unity. Oh. <laughs> I, I Did they also not say it was only for the first install so that someone couldn't uninstall, reinstall, uninstall, reinstall? Uh, they did say that, but how do they know? That's our legal problem. How do they know? <laughs> yeah. I love the initial naive, but nonetheless amusing suggestion of, well, if someone used piracy to do it, which it's like, I, I assume that they can't detect pirated downloads to begin with. That's part of the idea of piracy. Nonetheless, very funny idea. Definitely. Yeah. There's also the, uh, the thing of like... One would assume if Unity could detect who's pirating games, they perhaps would have told somebody by now, rather than just been like, oh no, they're pirating. What will we do? I guess we'll just have to sit here in our despair. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the the thing, the reason that that all of this uh happened is because Unity is launching an ad service. An ad service? Yes, and uh, you can cut them in, and they'll give you uh an undisclosed amount of money, which you know that that that, that seems like it's just uh like business jargon. No, it's legitimately just we'll give you an an amount of money from the, from the ads that we show. I I read the actual like I read the actual statement. It it was just like, all right, you'll get some money, and you will acquire currency. Yes, and on date from bank. Pretty much, you. The these are. I am happy to. Uh, I hope you will uh, answer this email soon, business representative. Oh no! It, it wasn't even. This wasn't like a business email. No, this was their official statement. This was their public statement. <laughs> I am pleased to be at your service, corporate officer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So the 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 whole ad thing was you you use their ad ad thing. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I need to take time to sexually harass secretary. <laughs> I am perhaps thinking about stealing currency from current company funds. Oh, I, I love Job Simulator. But yeah. <laughs> So, so they, they Job Simulator is one of those rare stupid things that almost made me think, like, what if I did save up for VR? Yeah, Job Simulator is, is one of the VR things that I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind trying out. I, I'd like that. I'd like, uh, whatchamacallit? Gorn. No, not Gorn. I, I didn't like Gorn. There, was an, there, was, there is another game like Gorn, though, that's, uh, that, that doesn't have the floppy weapons. Yeah, there are a couple. Gorn was one that stuck out to me just because, like, you could drop the weapon and entirely just fucking do Mortal Kombat fatalities to motherfuckers, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the the other game that I'm, th I'm thinking of, I think it might be Sword and Sorcery, I forget, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, Sword and Sorcery had a similar gimmick to that, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's that, but without the fatalities, which, like, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't mind it, trying it out just to be like, hey, I, I piled drove a guy onto another guy and he died. Both of them. I... <laughs> Yeah, there was one, yeah, along similar lines. Yeah, it didn't have the in-depth gore system that Gorn did, but it, nonetheless, 
offered a lot of creativity and, and stuff in terms of like dropping your weapons even and just beating the fuck out of people with your bare hands. Yeah. So that one, I wouldn't mind looking into VR chat, but I would probably have social anxiety. <laughs> because, yeah. You don't need a you don't need a VR headset to look into VR chat. And I, I just need a PC that wasn't built for 2005, yes. Yeah, that's true. Oh, uh, but yeah. You should... The, cre the credits of your first movie should have a spot where it just says, this movie was made to fund uh, my my first PC that doesn't suck. Yeah. Just put out a fucking GoFundMe, an Indiegogo campaign. Hey, get me a fucking computer, peasants. <laughs> <laughs> that is exploding. This movie was edited on a potato. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that reminds me of, uh, there's this, uh, there was this, then a uh, series called, uh, called the Akatsuki Life. It was a Naruto fan series that some, some, some Naruto ra uh, fan ran uh, in the like late 2000s, early 2010s, if memory serves. And that he, adds up. And he made the, the entire thing with, with, with Windows Movie Maker and MS Paint. And oh! The, it, it I was, can already see the Rossin gone. Yeah. It, it, it has been translated to English, so technically I could show you. I won't, unless you ask me to. Oh, no, you I mean could. it wasn't in English to begin with? No, it's, it's a Hungarian series. What? Yeah. It's, it, it's a That's wild. Yeah, it, it's, a, it, it's a Hungarian Naruto fan series. That, that just, like, it, it was just a slice of life comedy, comedy series. That they just use Naruto characters, <laughs> somewhat. I see. But yeah. Uh, there's... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the, one of the episodes uh, stars, stars with, a, with a company logo that obviously was fake. But uh, the company was... Uh, the... Uh, what was it? It was the, the stro Strawberry and Cement Block. Uh, studios production because he the the guy who made it likened using MS Paint and Windows Movie Maker to uh making make, making uh making art with, by by hitting a strawberry with a cement block. Mm. That's good. That's a winner. But yeah, that series was good. <laughs> Question mark? Like you know, it was it was good for what it was, and it, it it's definitely of its time. But there's still things that I like quote from it. I mean, like the you know how how I like Hidan, and th that's okay. You probably don't remember that I really like Hidan. Whatever, he's a member no, of. No, I don't remember who Hidan he was either. Oh, uh, skeleton guy with a sight. Nope, still don't know who that is. All right, whatever. Uh, I like 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 that guy pretty much because of this series because he he was a character. I mean, all of them were, but he he was a character. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there, there's also this fun thing about the series where like it's trying to keep somewhat to to Naruto canon. It's it's not really trying to, but it, it still you know there's there's shoutouts and and things. But this was made while Shippuden was running. I mean, this this series ended before Shippuden was anywhere near close to close to finishing. So there's a lot of things that things that it gets wrong. About about what happened in in, uh, in the end, but it, that kind of kind of makes it even more funny. <laughs> so yeah, I, I haven't watched the series in in a long time. I I, I should probably rewatch it because I do remember liking it a lot. But like, yeah, there's there's also some some skating media criticism, like the fucking uh, there's this there, there's a take on Captain Tsubasa, which have you seen Captain Tsubasa? No, I don't know what that is. Okay, Captain Tsubasa is a uh. Uh, soccer anime. Oh, actually, I have seen a. L I've seen a picture. <laughs> ah, I mean, you you might you might know 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 of it from the recent game where if you run the exe, it's the full title. And there's then the title title is like I want to say fifteen words long. Oh, excellent. So yeah, the uh. There, there, there's this, there was this criticism around the time because that, that's uh, when Naruto was airing and when this was getting made is around the time that the, the anime channel uh, over here, when, when it existed, was running Captain Tsubasa. 
And one of the one of the uh, big criticisms about Kratom Tsubasa was all of these character models look the same. So, <laughs> so there's this bit where you just see stormtroopers playing soccer, and then one of the characters asks the other, "What are you doing?" And he just goes, "I'm watching Captain Tsubasa." <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, and, and like dumb shit like that. It, it's it's like early, not early. It's for me early because it was a yeah, <laughs> but. You know, it, 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 it's like earlier internet humor. A yeah. Bit. Uh, there's, a, there's also, a, if memory serves, also a running gag of Itachi Uchiha always listening to Three Days Grace. Makes sense. Yep. That follows. Oh yeah, and every, every, time, every time Sasuke is on screen, he goes into a monologue and it starts playing uh, Moonlight or... Is it Moonlight Sonata? Yeah, I think so. So, yeah. Kind of an odd choice. He seems a bit more too elegant for a dumb shit like that, but nonetheless. I mean, the jo joke is that he's overdramatic, and uh, I think he appears on screen like maybe three times, so. <laughs> he should appear less. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, video game failures that are funny. Let's see. Atari. <laughs> Yeah! That's the original, ain't it? Yep. Oh, boy. That we, we weren't there for that one, but that was a big one, yes. One that fundamentally changed gaming history as we know it. It's fine. Zolja Boy owns them now. That's true. That is definitely true, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Especially not Soldier Boy. Oh no, Soldier Boy will be the first to tell you it's true. Wait, didn't didn't they tell tell him that that it it, it wasn't actually Atari and he he uh, he sold his shares or something like that? He's still a dumbass. I mean, he is, but still. Oh boy! I like to imagine it. It was like one of one of those like uh, bootleg bootleg like Bobby names. Like he he didn't buy Atari. He bought Arari. Yeah. Well, I mean, the the dude named Akira who made Street Fighter Two then founded a company named Arika. True. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Okay, what other failures can I think of that are funny? Hmm. Hmm. I know we're both missing a big one. Yeah. And, like, there's definitely big failures that aren't funny, right? Yeah. And there are sometimes big failures that wind up turning around and that detracted from some of the comedy. Fallout 76 was damn funny at the time, but to my understanding, people who are, play that game are fine with it now. So it's it's less funny. Yeah, it it, it like the, the thing with Fallout 76 is that when when it released, uh, there was the whole Lightfoot Lemonade thing, which I will still yeah. quote because like it, whenever I think of 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 Fallout 76 now after watching the the Internet History Story and video years ago, every time I think of Fallout 76, I just hear Lightfoot Lemonade, Lightfoot Lemonade, Lightfoot Lemonade. <laughs> Because that was like one of one of like three things that you could buy with the credits they gave you, gave you instead of the the canvas bag. <laughs> like you, you couldn't even buy the the actual, the, the in game canvas bag for the credits that they gave you to to make make it so you're not angry about the canvas bag anymore, the physical one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The canvas bag's probably the funniest, isn't it? No, I think it's the. Uh, uh, if memory serves, they they had new Coca Cola bottles printed, but if memory serves, it also contained lead. Oh, yeah! Oh, that was dumb. What the fuck was the deal with that? Yeah. Because like oh, you, good know, lord. Because you know the canvas bag is for the for advertising, and that sucks. 
but then but it but it happens that you can sue the co corporations for that. If you get lead poisoning from the Nuka Cola bottles, you can't really sue people because you're probably dead. <laughs> Lead poisoning causes, like, insanity, doesn't it? I don't... Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it does. Like, it causes, causes some variety of brain damage that seriously inhibits neural function. Yeah. Oh, good uh, lord. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that was a blunder, yes. But... Yeah, 76. Yeah, that, that, that is still up there, actually. Oh, well, one of the classics again, Daikatana. Oh, yeah. Yep. He, he did indeed make everyone his bitch, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> I guess. I, I was just, just, gonna, just gonna fucking, like, do, do, the, the, uh, do the thing that I do sometimes when I, when I just fucking do, the, do a text edit live. Just, just, just say, you know, that... You know the classic, classic fucking Daikatana advertisement. John Romero, John Romero, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. I think it's the same. I think it's the same effect as John Madden, John Madden football. Yeah, it's. Well, it's fun. It's ridiculous to think of uh, that just being John Romero's thing that he just says bitch to people. Especially because John Romero said at several points that he is embarrassed and ashamed of that marketing campaign. And that he didn't want it, yeah. Well, yeah, he didn't. Uh, like. Ah. Uh, what were they thinking? <laughs> but, but I'm also like ima imagining. Like, you, you flip open a, a video games magazine in the 90s, there's this big advertisement for for, for Darish Nakatana. They call it John Katana. <laughs> John Katana! Katana's John Romero! John Romero! Katana! <laughs> yeah. John Katana is, 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 is sort of possibility he's dead. But, <laughs> but yeah, so you see this big, like, uh, two-page two, uh, two page spread of Daikatana advertisement, and on the bottom it says in big bold letters, John Romero, John Romero, bitch. And that's all it says. Face you didn't get it the first time. <laughs> uh, like, I, I feel, I feel like it, it, it's, it's a John Madden thing, and I also find it funny just because it, it's like the, the Duke Duke M. Uh, if, if you play Duke Duke forever, you're gay. If you don't play Duke Duke forever, you're gay. You're gay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, speaking of funny blunders, Duke Nukem Forever. Oh, boy. If you want a good Duke Nukem sequel, that one's less funny and just sad. What, uh, fucking Bulletstorm or whatever? Well, yeah, Bulletstorm, Bulletstorm, Bulletstorm was the last showing for Duke, yeah. That's wild. I, I, I bought the Duke DLC for the game, and I still think it's mid. <laughs> I wasn't slept. Mighty foot. Game just ain't got the right amount of Mighty Foot. Yeah. Uh... Hmm, I still feel like we're missing something big. I mean, is, is it a funny blunder to say uh, the, the, the Sony Nintendo fallout that led to PlayStation? I don't think so. Oh, that's very historically significant, but like... Yeah, there's gotta be a big Nintendo blunder in there, right? Yeah. I mean, this... I mean Nintendo <laughs> doesn't like... The issue is Nintendo doesn't run into like issues of like... So much like over ambition or yeah, letting a game come out undercooked. <laughs> well, yeah, like Nintendo's issue is is being old man Nintendo who still thinks it's the eighties. Yeah, like I, I could do my classic bit and just say insert Nintendo franchise you like here, but <laughs> yeah, you dumb bitches. 
I mean, my fir first thing, first thing to say was Metroid, but then, but then Dread, Dread, Dread released, and Dread is supposed to be good. So hey, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, other, yeah, other, actually, other M, I, other M is another one. I don't think it's even funny. I think it's depressing. But the baby, the ba the baby, the baby. No, I'm, I'm referencing specifically other M because Zemus, if memory serves. I know, but the baby. I don't know. I like Samus's delivery better because because she's just so so distraught. The baby, <laughs> the mother brain my nemesis, but she killed the baby. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm the right kind of brain damage that my own brain damage statement amuses myself. Oh hey, just the steadfast temperatures. Did you say steadfast temperatures? Steadfast. Temperatures. The fuck is that? What are you talking about? Oh, Star, Star Fox. Fox. Adventures. Star Fox, Fox Adventures. Okay, I was I was so confused there. What the actual fuck is he on about? I was thinking for a second. My God, has Addy is Addy having a stroke over there? Oh <laughs> yeah, hey, you're just over there saying. <laughs> Call me a fox, you lance. Okay, I'm just, having a stir stroke. I, 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 I just start spe speaking the, the fucking like Super Mario RPG Italian. <laughs> what game is that where Luigi and Mario just like say the weirdest shit? Superstar Saga, I think. And they just make ambiguous noises, like they just yeah. told Charles Martinet to start scatting pretty well. <laughs> you, you turn you turn on closed captioning, and it's, it's, it says Italian noises. Yeah. No, it just says pasta. <laughs> but it, it's, in, it's in the square brackets. Yeah. And. Mike's still sitting there going like, eh, I preferred when they talk like, yeah, yeah, I'm the plumber. Yeah. Uh, did, did you know that there's, there's, a, there's a voice recording of Charles Martinet doing a proto Wario talking about an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke. No, that absolutely fits with what I've, what I've known about Charles Martinet, yeah. There was this game called Grossology. I've kind of wondered before that part of Nintendo, part of why Nintendo probably wants to get rid of him is because he's too friendly with fans and too willing to make dirty jokes. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. But yeah, ba back in the nineties, before he actually got the role of Mario properly, I think, uh, he got he he was brought in for a game called Grossology, and the Grossology was an entertainment game that that talked about you know like boogers and shit, because it was the nineties. Yes, and. Uh, they explain things, and and uh, Charles Martinet has a character who is a plumber, a a fat short plumber, who is pretty much just Wario. And one of his <laughs> lines, one of his, one of his lines that I, I remember, because you you have this uh thing where you just have like you have this book with with all of the terms in the game, and you can just press on them, and they explain the the, the voice acting comes in to explain what what it is. So there, there's there's a recording of Charles Martin echoing anal sphincter with more or less like with a slightly like higher pitched Wario voice. Why wow, anal sphincter? Yeah. <laughs> I have an anal sphincter. Everyone does Wario. Everyone does. Oh no. Oh no, I miss <laughs> Vario number one. He just thought <laughs> that, that that's his version of the fucking Mario pissing video. <laughs> Do you know the thing I'm referencing? No, I actually don't. Okay, there's this uh, there's this meme video with of truly draw Mario and it's this, it's this one guy doing a voice. He's doing the same voice for every character. There's two characters, I believe. It's Goomba and Mario. 
and Goomba and Mario talk about how Mario is not wearing pants. And he just he goes, time to take a piss, and then he starts pissing. And that's the video. I see. I don't see how I've missed out on this high art for so many years. Yeah, it, it's it, it's only by hanging out with me that, that, you, that you see high art like Mario pissing and Buff Riku and uh, Mario, I don't know, it, it's... I, I like... actually would have seen Buff Riku on my own just because I follow uh, Butter Buns on Twitter. <laughs> and like, uh, what was it? It Was it uh, Luigi's racist, racist Asian cowboy impression that it, that is so racist it, it, it makes Mario's stomach ulcer explode? <laughs> his, did you say his stomach ulcer? Yeah. Like, Mario already has a stomach ulcer. That's inherently part of the gag. Uh, have, have you not seen that video? Or not, not video, have you seen, not seen that image? Rather. No! Alright, I'll, I'll send it over to you sometime. <laughs> Uh. Oh boy, what's the biggest blunder in the history of the Mario series? Because Mario's been able to be more or less spotless for a long time now. Uh, new Luigi U. <laughs> oh, new Luigi U. Yeah, that was a that was a game. Because yeah, I was trying to think of like, okay, the new series was well, wasn't that well received. Luigi. <laughs> yeah. God bless. Well, no, Luigi does have a critically loved series of video games. He, it, they just can't be platformers. They have to be in a haunted mansion. Yeah. And this is why they introduced Luigi. To replace Luigi. For he is better. Yeah. Did you say Luigi? That, that's an actual Nintendo character, yes. Yeah, yeah, um, mm. Hmm. Yes, there is legitimately a slime Luigi called Luigi. He, I forget which part of Luigi he comes out of. Is this a versus Rabbids thing? No, this is a uh, Luigi's Mansion like three or four thing. I forget which one introduced him. I think it's three. Oh, that would also make sense. He's like ectoplasm Luigi. Yeah. Now, now the, the thing here though the, to note is that I forget which part of Luigi he comes out of. So, look, we all know the part of Luigi that dispenses goo. <laughs> the, the 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 vacuum. It's, da it's Daisy's favorite part. The vacuum. Yeah. It's a little unfair that Daisy is actually actually puta, but yeah. Anyway, uh. <laughs> That still would fit for Luigi. Yeah. Really, between between Mario, Luigi, and Yoshi, that trio, it'd make Mario the odd one out then. I, mean, I don't. I don't know. It it it, it would it would round out their their whole like uh, what you call it like extra testing of like Mario Mario and Peach are like the the uh, the nuclear nuclear couple. They, they they are they are charged atoms, but yeah, they're, they're the nuclear couple. They're, they're, they're they they detonated and created the mushroom kingdom. Yes, that's why it's called mushroom because of the cloud they left. Yeah, and then Lu Lu Luigi is uh with with Daisy who who is I guess Futa now. And yeah. then there's Yoshi and Birdo. Yeah. Who, depending on the game, is either either is or is not a trans icon. I think. I think the thing with that is that uh, originally Birdie was supposed to be a trans icon, as in, well, it, she wasn't supposed to be, but she no, she, it was clearly supposed to be a trans joke. Yeah, but 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 you know they they still made her trans, so eventually she became a trans icon. And then they tried to run it back, and nobody, nobody's uh, giving a shit. That of the author. Not in my canon. But... Yeah, well, that, that's not really something you can run back. Even if you're a transphobe, that's not something you run back. Yeah. Because, you know, fi final fight. Hey, yeah, poison's poison. trans. 
And immediately they started trying to run that back, started running the idea of running that back. But like if you're if you if you're trans, then you like poison being that way, so you're not you're gonna ignore any retcons. And if you're a transphobe, then you're never gonna think of poison not being that way, so you're not gonna accept the retcons either. Yeah. Uh so yeah. Well, one other big like Nintendo blunders can I think of the Nintendo sixty four. But <laughs> Yeah, the Virtual Boy. A successful console, but man, that controller was fucking ugly. I mean, that depends on, on what you're looking at, because like, Nintendo 64 was successful in the States, but only in the States, from what I understand. Or, or at the very least, it, it definitely wasn't successful in Europe. But even then, like, the, uh, the, the catalog of games it has were good for, like, First party stuff. It was good, good uh, for like Zelda. It was good for Mario. It was good for Mario Kart and Mario Party. But then, if you didn't like those, or it, it was also good for Smash Bros. I guess if you didn't like any of those, uh, well, Golden Eye. <laughs> yeah, and then that's pretty much which it. Which was still rare. Yeah. Who were arguably pretty close to first party back then. Not so much now. Yeah. And and so so like, you know, if, if you if you just wanna talk about like sales numbers, then technically in, in America, yes, successful 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 con- console. But then like the game catalog catalog is kinda of barren. <laughs> that was a rough time for everybody, admittedly. Yeah, true. Like that we've come up with so many nineties kids now, they're like, oh my god, that was the best time. Ocarina is the best game forever, ever. But, like, anyone who was actually an adult at that time looking backwards or goes backwards having not been around, alive for the time at it ha- as it happened or having been an infant when it happened can go back now and go, like, okay, so there's stuff here that clearly changed things for the better. At the same time, look at that texture. Yeah, I mean, even, even, even with, with, without the texture stuff, like, just look at the gameplay. Have you played Castlevania 64? I have. Shit sucks. To be fair, people didn't like Castlevania 64 at the time. True. But yeah, like, that, that and like, overall, just that, there wasn't a lot of variety. It, well, no, I guess there was variety. It, it was, there was, just wasn't, wasn't a lot of, like, quality games <laughs> on N64 at least. Because, like, you, you had the wrestling games. Those were fine. They were all the same game, but still, they, those were fine. Uh... Which, which, you know, the, the, this, the, this statement that I just said would get me killed if anyone else were here. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Uh, I, I personally liked Fighter's Destiny as a, as a series. Or was it just Fighter Destiny? I forget, whatever. Like, those, those were fine, but they, they were also weird. And, like, there's a reason that, that it, uh, the series didn't continue off of the Nintendo 64. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, past that, okay, you had Goldeneye. Uh, well, actually, it was good. I, I, I've tried playing it multiple times. I never liked it, but still, like, I can see, I can see all of the, the things that it did to, you know, revolutionize stuff. Mario 64 was okay. Uh, the 3D Zeldas, I didn't like, but I don't, I don't like Zelda, so that, that's a given, kind of. <laughs> and then, like, outside of those, didn't really have much. <laughs> But then, like, similarly with, with PS1, like, PS1, you had Silent Hill, you had Strider 2, Klonoa. Resident Evil 1 and 2 and 3. Yeah, the three RE games. Uh, uh, Persona. Gex? No, no, 3D Gex was bad. 2D Gex was good, from what I, what I remember people saying. Hmm. What else was on the PS1 uh, that, that was actually like several Final Fantasies? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, seven and eight and nine. Odd World. 
Rayman. Which I've never been a fan of, but that doesn't change that for a lot of people it is a beloved series. Rayman. Rayman, that's right. Crash. Yeah, Crash. Spyro. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Twisted Metal. Yeah. And it's always slightly behind Cousin Vigilante 8. <laughs> Wipe out. Yeah, uh, Driver, right? The first Driver was P PS1, right? I don't remember. Parappa. And I'm John Emmy. Parappa, yeah, that's a big one. Okay, maybe an obscure one. You might disagree with this. And if so, if, if so say so, because I, I know of this game, and I, I, I've only heard good things about it. Vib Ribbon. What? Vib Ribbon. Vib Ribbon. The name actually does sound vaguely familiar, yes. It's a... Uh, it's a vector-based game. It's a rhythm game where you're this, you're, you're a bunny walking along along a track, and uh, the track changes changes on the song. Now, the big the killer app of, of this game was that you could take out the game disc and put in your own audio CDs, and you could play the songs on the audio CD as levels in the game. Oh, that's nuts! Yeah. Was that, like, part of the whole thing the PS1, PS2 had, where you could take the disc out and put another disc in while the game was still running? And it would always cause the game, of course, to just crash or stop or just run the same shit over and over. Well, that's the thing. In uh, Some of these games actually worked around it and made it so so you can just load all additional data into RAM while the game is also running in RAM, from RAM. That's kind of nuts. Yeah. The Vib Ribbon is the game, is, like, the D game that I can think of that and Monster Rancher, which both of those are on PS1. <laughs> So yeah, eh. at least at least in memory serves. The first one was, if I'm if I if if I'm correct. But yeah, the Vibriban is is a uh, one one of the like three games that I know that actually utilize this this thing where you could play audio CDs and so we'll just load the entire game into RAM. You can put in an audio CD. The game will read read the, read the audio of the audio CD and and the game will interpret the data of the audio so that it's a level. That that is insane, and it, and it actually saves scores, high scores on the levels from the separate audio CDs. And if you put the CD back in, it recognizes that it that is the same track. If memory serves, we don't do that sort of thing anymore. I know because like you know, Spotify is integrated into the console, but like we should like they should set up some deal with some game should set up some deal with Spotify, man. Yeah, uh, Forza Horizon did. But more games should <laughs> like you know I, I what if I, what if I want to get uh, DMC it because of what uh, because of songs that I like because then I, then at least I, I'll get DLC DMC it for for songs that I like. Yeah. Well, like the WWE games. Could you imagine if you could just pull songs off of Spotify for the yeah. WWE games? Yeah, especially just... because WWE has. Several albums of P of dudes entrance music on yeah. Spotify. Uh, but but my first my first thought thoughts with the idea and and the reason that I, that I think they're not doing that, which I mean they could work around this. I'll, I'll talk about it uh, shortly why, why I think that is. But yeah, the, my first idea was all right, change Vince's entrance music to No Cock Like Horse Cock by Pepper yeah. Coyote. Well, there used to be a thing you couldn't make John Cena wear pink, and that's why they weren't allowing you to edit Superstar attires, but they wound up going back on that. Yeah, and, and even Big time. that, and even that, like, okay, so, you don't want, you don't want Vince McMahon to come out, come out to, to a song where, where the chorus is no cock like horse cock, sh send my ass into shock. Fine. You, you have a setting that you already use, where it cuts out the music. <laughs> when people take, take uh, clips, just use that. Yeah. And then, and then, if people if people record it with, with an external uh, capture card, they'll probably get claimed. Like, <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, but yeah. So. Hmm. The problem would be people taking that function and immediately the first thing they type in is Our Lady Peace. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. We're in trouble. 
Uh, but, I, but I'm also ima- imagining, like, you know, what, what other games could use this. Because, like, 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 imagine, like, this is a Fallout one. But, like, imagine they, they remake, like, Silent Hill 1. It, it has Spotify integration. It's just, like, you put on, <laughs> you put on fucking Barbie Girl. It's like getting chased around. Replace any song in the game with any other song. The song that plays when Lisa dies horribly and Harry is just too cowardly to help her in any way. He just locks her in the room. Instead of that sad fucking song, Not Tomorrow, it just starts playing DMX. (laughs) (laughs) Where the who that? Yeah, that's... See, that would actually be great if you're running through the streets of Silent Hill. Where the who? Where the but I but I imagine that since it's integrated into the game, it's not just not it's not it does it's not just playing the audio. It's playing the audio, but it's putting it through a filter so it it's coming out of the radio. <laughs> okay, wait a second. What if What if Alright, you start up Silent Hill 2, you get the cutscene. You know, I, I got a letter. And it goes through the whole it can't possibly be true. She said she was in our special place. <laughs> and then ordinarily it cuts to then, you know, Akira Yamaoka playing guitar, you know, starts yeah. up, uh, I believe, uh, the theme of Laura. Instead, it starts up. Oh, baby, you. <laughs> you got what I need. <laughs> But like, this is too much power because, like, Im- imagine, okay, imagine you you get to, you get to the the en- to the ending with with the VHS. You put the VHS in, and it starts playing Bill Marky. Yeah. But there's there's also some some neat uh things that things that you could do like uh going going to the strip club and strip club and just playing uh fucking fifty cent. Yeah. Now you just you you put on super massive black hole, like every other strip club. <laughs> I mean, or uh, voodoo by uh, voodoo by all the guys that did. Uh... I stand alone. What was it? Sm- fist oh, mouth. God whatever. Smack. God, God smack. God <laughs> fist mouth. It's that's my favorite new metal band. <laughs> fist mouth. Where did I even get that? <laughs> that's the that's the uh, the the super band. It's made out of Smash Mouth and God Fist. Whatever. God God smack. Yeah, there's not a fist or a mouth in God smack. How did I get that? Yes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that that were uh, what, you, what go, it? you go to you go to Heaven's Night in Silent Hill and it just starts playing Rob Zombie. Yeah. Apple bottom jeans. Just playing the red red Kruvy. <laughs> yeah, my Durango. Uh how disappointed were you that when Edge jumped to AEW, he didn't go with the Red Red Groovy? Oh, Edge Ed jumped jumped to AEW. Ah, uh, yeah, he just did earlier this week. Ah, news to me. Poor bastard. He decided he wants to spend his last few years getting spiked on his head. Yeah. <laughs> I've thought over my career and I've decided this is a wise choice. Yeah. <laughs> No, you see, you see, Ed wanted to retire, but he can't while, while his neck is still intact. That's true. He went talking to Daniel Bryan, like, what do I do about this? And Bryan said, don't you worry, I know just the people to break your fucking neck. Uh, <laughs> at, at this point, I, I, I hope that if, if Edge ever bring, brings that song back, he has, like, Rob Zombie do, do, like, an old man version. But, like, it's it slowed down. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because him and Rob are both quite a bit older than they used to be. Yeah. 
I gotta say though, if they weren't, that would be an interesting. That'd be an entirely different scenario. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it, do 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 the thing that Sandman did did in ECW, just bring in like fucking uh, Fred Durst and him do a cover. Well, that the trouble with that is that it was Lemmy that did the cover of Inner Sandman for Sandman. I know, I know but who is dead? I'm I'm just saying, bring bring in like a completely unrelated guy. Still a still a big name, yeah. but we just. <laughs> It's not like Metallica has absurdly high licensing costs, which is why nobody ever uses Metallica songs except Zombieland. But like, like it's not that expensive to license out a Rob Zombie song. Nonetheless, let's get somebody else. Yeah. Uh, the, the I'll never forget the thing with the with the, the the Motorhead cover of uh of Ender Sandman is oh, is funny to me. They they even uploaded uploaded it recently, and all of the comments are like. Look at how, how good a musician Lemmy is. He's making songs even in death. But, <laughs> mm. but uh, yeah, the the thing with it's that cover better than Metallica's. It's better than Metallica's. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but but also, uh, some fun facts came it came out. I don't know when. I don't think it it, it was like recent, recently to to Lemmy's death. I think it was before then. So apparently, uh, there's not Motorhead playing on it. On it, Lemmy Lemmy is singing. Obviously, but le- but the rest of Motorhead isn't on this song. The 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 uh, people doing the instrumentals are Zebrahead. And right, you told me about that. Yeah, and and the, the funny funny bit to me about about that still is that uh, according to uh, I forget who from Zebrahead, but one of the guys from Zebrahead said, "Oh yeah, we we just threw together this demo and sent it sent it over to Lemmy to take a listen." And he he was like, "Yeah, this shit's good." He'll he just sung over it, and that's it. <laughs> that's the song. <laughs> Yeah. Approved. Yeah. And then they, they got an award for it. Yeah, because it's, it's better than Metallica's. But you know, to, to me, like, the, the, reason, the reason I say that isn't because I think it's bad, but it, it, it's just weird to me that it, 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 it's a demo. <laughs> yeah. Uh... All right. Okay, I got a funny failure. That wasn't really a disaster. It was just like everyone agreed. Oh, that was a complete fuck up. Yeah, that was just the funniest off the top of my head. Resident Evil Dual Shock Edition. Oh. Womp 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 womp. Oh, did did you hear about how well, the composer? Womp, 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 womp. Did you hear about how the composer uh, wasn't actually uh, deaf? Yeah, he faked being deaf because he was so embarrassed that the song was so shit. Not only that, but but he had ghostwriters. Someone else wrote that song. Oh, that's that that just makes it perfect. He lied about making the bad song, and then afterwards lied about being deaf to justify him making the bad song. Yeah, that's just great. Uh, I remember some other like uh, what a hero. Yeah. Well, what about that game? I forget the name of it. Uh, but there was a game that the if memory says the FCC uh, found some like legal trouble with it, so they legitimately cannot sell the game, and it's up for free on 360. What is it? I don't remember. It was this like sci-fi cover shooter. There was a lot of those at that time. I know. <laughs> like, there's something rather down, if memory serves. But yeah, there's, there's this game that I think might have been commissioned by Microsoft, I forget. And it's, it's still on the, the 360 stores, you can still download the full game for free, because they couldn't release the game otherwise, because it would have been illegal. Oh yeah, I remember why it was because because of stolen code. Oh, oh, that's good. It's it's a game more like Unreal Engine two. And oh, and I forget what they stole code from, but it but they found stolen code. So they had to release the game uh. game, game for free, and and the the development studio closed, of course. 
<laughs> what game was it that just copied the uh, the legal text from another game? Oh, I don't know. There was one game, and it was a major game from a big publisher, big dev, that just straight up stole the terms of use. Uh, the terms and conditions probably from, from another game. Probably something from 2K. I, I, but I, I remember something like this happening, and, and, and I feel like I remember it be, being a 2K game. It might have been the Mafia remake. <sighs> It might have been, yeah. Like, honestly, someone, honest, whoever was just like, yeah, nobody reads these. I'm fine. I, No one will ever read this and notice that it's for an entirely different game. Yeah, like, if... if, if the, the thing I remember is that it, it was something like they, they put the, the NBA 2K <laughs> service <laughs> into Mafia. When, when you're playing the basketball with... With the other mobsters, famously huge basketball fans. Yeah, I mean, it's, that, 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 that's why one of your crew members is called Two Ball Tony. Yeah, they call me that because I played a basketball with two balls. They told me it wouldn't work. They were right, but I'm still doing it. Yeah, <laughs> they told me it didn't. It, it wouldn't work. And then I pull, I pull out a gun. Now it works. It's the damnedest thing. I, I pointed the gun at the ball, and the ball was like, oh, I give in, Tony Two Balls. That's just how I roll. Uh, by the way, if, if you ever want to play a, play a Mafia game, play the first one's remake. It's the best part of 3, and the best part of 1 and 2, because 2 is just a rehash of 1. I see. I believe I heard Mafia 2 had a, a really loved story, but yeah, that, other than that, that kind of Mafia, follows. I mean, Mafia 1 is, uh, is largely the same story as, as 2, but with, you know, some, some bits changed out because, of course, Mafia 2 was good. I liked it a lot. The remake is bad, because it's not a remake. It's not even a remaster. It's just a bad port. <laughs> I see. Uh, it, it it is it is the legitimately the only game, the only bad port even, where I've I've been locked hard locked out of progress. <laughs> Cause oh, yeah, excellent! There's this part near near the end of the game. It's one of, like it's either the semi final or the final mission, where you need to break through this this iron gate with a with a with a car. No matter how fast I ran ran that gate, it didn't break. And they never fixed that. No. I mean, they, they, they didn't fix the, the uh, mission music play, playing in, into the next cutscene, which also has its own music, and then all of the, all of the music getting layered, or, and they didn't fix... <laughs> and then they also didn't fix... They also didn't, didn't fix... Does, uh, the, does the music get louder because it's layered? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Tony, I need to send you to do this. Jesus Christ, somebody shut off the band. Shut them up. Shut them up. Tony! No, it's it's not even it's not even like a band. Well, it, it, it is a band, but it's 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 like you're you're listening to fucking like, oh, uh, I'm forgetting the, the the titles of the songs, but it, it it's like you're you're listening to these like war uh propaganda songs of you you know like stand stand up and fly right and shit like that. You're you're listening listening to that, but it's like five separate songs at the songs at the same time, and they get louder the longer they go on. And if you go into a loading screen, they play. If you go into the Xcot scene, they play. If you quit the game, they might, they might still play. <laughs> that happened to me once. Where I, where I quit the game and I went back in and it, still, it was still playing the song. <laughs> it never knew when to stop. But like the best, the best part, part about that was uh, when uh, there's this, there was a mission. They do this a lot. There was a mission where a song was supposed to start at a specific time. And then, you know, it plays for like, I don't, I don't know, like... Half a minute in the cutscene. And it's supposed to shut off. Because the cutscene is over. It didn't shut off. It went from the part that it was supposed to start at, which was in the middle of the song, to the end of the song, and then just repeated that. 
And every, every, every repetition was louder. Good lord. I would like to see that glitch at some point. That's a glitch I'd like to see more often just because it, it's annoying, but at the same time, it just has such japes potential. And then they, they also didn't fix the, how the, the environment ch 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 turns to pink when you go too fast. Because the, the low poly, the, the low poly uh, models don't have textures, they're, they're just pink. So if you, if you go too fast or if the game just didn't catch up fast enough, then things just turn pink. That's crazy. Like, I've seen Animus Balls in Mafia 2. How? <laughs> the, another ancestor of Desmond's. He was related to everyone. Yeah. Which, like, you know, that like, they, they sounds like I'm joking. No, legitimately, there were times when I, when I went, like, I didn't even go particularly fast. I went, I only went uh, as fast as, like, Chase or, or in the game, which, you know, fairly fast, but nothing that the game shouldn't be able to handle. But, like, going at chase speed, sometimes the game would unload the, the, the buildings enough for them to technically still exist, but they're pink. And there's also this, like, pink wall <laughs> on top of them, which is where the invisible walls are. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, legitimately, like, you know, sometimes I break games which is why we joke about revenges and all that but like I have never played a game that was in a more broken state including Assassin's Creed Unity and the, the combat mechanic in that game just comp sometimes just shuts off yeah like, I, that happened to me frequently when we played that game and that was, that was half a decade after release yeah uh, so yeah <laughs> If, if, if the funny blunders, Mafia 2 remake. F funny blunders, Mafia 3. My understanding was that wasn't funny at all. That was just kind of lame. Yeah. You know, funny haha -ha or funny, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How have none of us done that yet? Am I a clown? Do I amuse you? Yes, yes, you do. Uh, but yeah, so so Mafia Mafia Three was just badly designed. It had good a good base, and that's it. It had a good base, <laughs> which is yeah. why which is why the Mafia One remake is good because it, it's just taking the base of Mafia Three and then going, "Hey, there's a game now." Yeah, and wouldn't, wouldn't you know? It's actually good. God damn. Yeah, there was although there was that this one time where uh, I clipped into the environment. And there's, there's this part where you have to infiltrate a factory. And you have to... There's this guardrail next to a wall. And the guardrail is, like, pretty much pretty much on the wall. So somehow, I managed to uh, to duck, which there's a cover system. I managed to duck into cover next to the wall with the guardrail on it. And then when I came out, came out, of, out of ducking, I was between the guardrail and the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh boy! Which like you, you just gotta love when when the environment breaks like that, and like it's it's not even a thing that I can fault like the game or the dev dev support because like you know shit happens. It's just funny when it happens. Yes, it is. Uh, all right. Other funny, bl other funny blunders that I can think of. Mm. Other funny blunts. Mm. Yes. I mean, do we want to count PS1 Hagrid? I... Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, when we get into stuff that's just funny, bad... Oh, PS1 Hagrid is one of the best game models ever. Yes. There's also, in terms of bad video game models, shout out to uh, Chad in Friday the 13th with oh, his yeah. eyes shooting out of his fucking skull. That shout guy's out, a classic. Shout out to No Face Black. And, yeah. And they. The great thing is when a dev knows a model is bad, so they double down on it. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm trying to think of like BC game blunders because like, I mean, there's, there's, there's... open up the, the Steam store page and you shall see. But <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Like, is it is it is it is it is it like fair to say Steam Steam moderation mo modern Steam moderation when it comes to to the games they they carry as a funny blunder? <laughs> yeah, there's an argument to be had about the free market. There's also an argument to be had about a store should probably choose what products it carries. Yeah. Like, you know, the, it's one of the, it, you know, free market is fine, but, but you have to draw the line somewhere. And like, I feel like, I feel like we, we've passed the line when, when there's games called, I can't believe my, my fear is, is this cute or whatever, something like that on the, on the store. Yeah. Like, I, I feel, yep. I, I feel like that's a couple of step, steps, like past the, the line. <laughs> Oh boy! Not to mention the uh, the the asset flips, but I, I feel I feel like that my first exam example is worse. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's a difference of professionalism versus morality and ethics. Yeah. But but we all know that that the that. Out of all of the games that, that uh, Steam has uh, allowed, allowed, allowed onto its store page, the one that really truly truly uh, deserves the place is, is Orc Massage. Did you say Orc Massage? Yeah. Okay, uh, are they like sexy orcs or are they like straight up like butt ugly big tooth orcs? No, you're the orc. Oh, and you give massages. Yes. Okay, I, okay so we're talking ugly bastard here. Yes, the the way the the way that I, I I have seen him described, which you know I've I've only I've only heard about the game more or less, and the the way that I've heard heard about heard the the, the main character described is, uh, it 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 it's as, it, it's, it's as if you dip the uh, dip the pickle in ketchup. Huh? Whatever that means. <laughs> I I have several questions. Is that just describing his penis? Maybe. I don't know. I don't see why an orc's penis would be red. Uh, Anyways. But, yeah. A question's less tied to orc penises. Uh, do, do you think Shrek comes green? No, I don't think he does at all. <laughs> then how, how does he have kids? Stork. True. Especially considering it's fairy tale world. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> anyway, on the video game blunders. Hmm. Oh. What was it called? Catch the Freeman or something like that? Oh, find the Freeman. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one was. Yeah. Yep. I mean, like, I you have to commend the guy who says, if Valve won't do it themselves, I'll do it. Right? Yeah. On the other hand... I mean, it, it, it was... Uh, it, it was an inspired choice to, to get a, a British YouTuber to do his best American accent for the entire game. Yeah, that's, that's one issue. 
hiring a bunch of YouTubers who would then go on to make essays about how the game sucks and say, I'm in the game also, by the way. Yeah. Oh, uh, not paying people. That was also an inspired choice. Yeah. The writing. Yeah, like... When it opens from the... Okay. From the jump, it's like, okay, but like, what if, you know, not all the Marines in, uh, attacking the labs were not bad people? It's like, uh, okay, well, here's the thing. Half-Life, that's not really a concern in Half-Life, because you remember the part where they immediately start opening fire on scientists and security yeah. guards? Yeah. So, may, maybe, in fact, actually, yes, they were pretty well all bad, with the exception of maybe Shepard and his team, who never made it to the lab to begin with. Because Shepard gets shot down, and when Shepard gets down there, Shepard's like, fuck, actually, like, fuck this cleanup shit, I'm gonna work with the scientists and the guards, because I don't want to die. And like, okay, hey, Shepard's a, a character that people want to see come back because they think he's cool. Like, he doesn't have a character. He's a Half-Life protagonist. None of them have character. But nonetheless, people want to bring him back because he's a big old loose end from Half-Life 1. While well, you're playing his brother. Yeah, it, 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 it sounds like a fanfic because it is a fanfic. Yeah, but, but somehow it's a licensed one. Yes. Like, imagine. But definitely not canon. Yeah, true. No, Fucking but... evil <laughs> imposter Gordon Freeman. No, 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 but you see that of the author. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying this whenever canon yeah, comes you're up it's funny. <laughs> somebody's done something to you with this death of the author bit. Uh, like the, the the only way or the only way fi uh, Ron Dunn the Freeman would have been better is, is if the final boss is just Gaben. Fuck it, he's in the game. <laughs> and it's just playing like sentence mixed dev commentary lines. Yes. No, no, no. I he, thought at no, this he... point in the game I would kill you. No, no, he he has no the, he has no. I thought no, at this point in the game I would kill you, the player. Yeah. <laughs> Just a, 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 a JPEG over hand gets bigger on screen. <laughs> He's coming out. We considered giving we considered giving me a rocket launcher, but we decided that would make me too powerful. So I did it anyways. So I have two. Yeah. But yeah, the, like I'm imagining, he actually has no combat lines, but, but for for the entire duration of the fight, there's just, there's just this like uh, there's a uh, dense remix of of dev commentary from him. Some of the dev commentary lines like aren't even really vaguely quality sentence mix. They're really bad, and they just there are things that Gabe would have never said. <laughs> I like Ubis. <laughs> hey, one, one of his lines is just "fuck you." He says it randomly. There's there's one intention, intense chance that you trigger that line. For uh, you, yeah. The real dirty sentence mixing, where it's like, okay, there must have been cleaner noises to use than that. Oh no! Let me tell you, as someone who's actually done sentence mixing. Uh, cleaner, no cleaner noises might exist if you go to like, uh, uh, what should I call it? The, like library of, I want to say like, you know, a couple of hundred hours of footage. But generally you don't want to actually spend time <laughs> watching hundred hundred hours of footage for, for a sound. So you go with yeah. whatever, whatever is the cleanest. Because it's already it's take, a, taking a shit on a pile. for it to be filthy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like what? It, it, when you when you be when you beat Gabe, Gabe and he's just sentenced me to say Half Life Three coming never. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. Fuck you. 
Because <laughs> that one's not hard. I know that I can. I could go and get a clip of Gabe saying, "I I know a lot of people have been waiting for it right now." Yeah. Uh. Like what other game game can I can I can I think of that's like PC exclusive and had? I mean, there's there's a couple like the uh, what's it? Oh, what was that one that uh that one bad survival game that like got the dude got into a huge fight with uh, Total Biscuit, which which a lot of indies guys got into a huge got into huge fights with Total Biscuit. That was just Total Biscuit, but still, I don't I don't know. I'm tempted to just say the guy who made Fez, but like, yeah, that's that's an interesting case. Mm, you know, Phil Fish in many ways reminds me of CM Punk. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, Phil, Phil Fish also <laughs> got, in, got into a fight with Jungle Boy. Yeah. When Jungle Boy was a, was a teenager. <laughs> he didn't understand Fez. You don't get it. He had to do it so that he'll understand Fez and Braid. <laughs> That's what... Bra Bra I, Phil Fish didn't make Braid, did he? I don't, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. That was a falsehood, sir. I feel just looking out for his friends. Bold of you to assume he has any. True. I um, imagine there are several years where there are indie dev cons, and every time Phil Fish showed up, everybody else was like, "Oh, it's Phil." But wouldn't you know it, I need to go grab a smoothie. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you assholes later. Uh, you guys can enjoy the Fishmeister and I'll enjoy not having a fucking stroke. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, there's a couple of, like, Broadpond games that were PC only that, that, that you could put here. Like, there's a. Oh there's, boy, there's like Brooks, Brooks Ash, Quest Adventures. Star Citizen. Yeah, Star Citizen. Star fucking Citizen. I mean, I, I feel like I feel like Star, Star, Star Citizen has went has went on for long enough that it's no longer funny, and now it is sad. Well, well that one, yeah, that one's especially sad because you know there are so many people who had their hype, hi hi uh, hype, hopes, their hopes set so high, and they're never gonna get it. Yeah, I mean. I watched a video, I forget who it was from, but I watched someone actually buy Star Citizen. Not Star a video! C yeah, Star Citizen, to, you know, just talk about how the, the state of the game. And the game is... The game exists. <laughs> like... No, it doesn't! No, technically it does. It's, it's, only, in, it's only in, like, Alpha, allegedly. And, uh, you know... But but technically, there's a client of Star Citizen that you can la run. If you if you buy like the the super ultra mega expensive version, I think. Really? Yes, and the game is like three spaceports and and uh, four ships. You can drive the ships. They 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 were adding a fifth one if memory serves. Like it's not that game supposed to have like eight million celebrity voice actors as yes. well? Yes, they they're not here yet. They're, there's uh, if memory serves, which once again <laughs> they haven't shown up in the studio. We've been waiting for four years. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, Mark Hamill just keeps saying he's busy. Like as far as I know, uh, they have like AI, AI voices or something like that as placeholders, pretty much. Oh, I see. But yeah, like that model. I models, imagine a lot of people are happy about that. Mo models exist. Uh, they they look fine. There there are two spaceports, as I, as I've said. You can travel between the spaceports. You you can travel I, to I think. No, I I don't think you can travel to a planet planet yet. At least at least as far as I'm aware. I'm sorry, that was just too good. It's a fucking game in space. Yeah, I mean, what, what, why can't you... you go to a planet? You you can you can go to space. You can go from one spaceport to the other in one of your four ships. 
What more do you want? <laughs> uh, the game, uh, if what I remember, remember is correct, the game seems to be heavily like community, community reliant, which means that it's gonna die. Oh, good. But it's it's one of it's trying to be one of those MMOs where you have free reign. Every play, player has free reign, and you can just make whatever job you want. And you know, you you make your own fun, which is one of those things where like it's gonna be cool for the people getting in at the start, and then people will come in and they'll see that everything is is owned by like four people, and they'll go fuck this shit, I'm out, and then eventually the game just dies. Or it becomes like Eve Online, where it's a perfect microcosm of the most hostile corporate atmosphere possible. Yeah, although like e- Eve, on- Eve Online, as far as I'm aware, Eve Online is like the the only game that that works with. Or so far, at least, it, it's the only game that it has worked with. Because it's because because it's like a legitimate fucking stock market. Yeah. Like people make and lose loads of money in that game. It's insane. But yeah, like the the uh, like I, I've been doing some some research into MMO stuff, not for any real reason, just because just because YouTube's been recommending me a guy who. Whose whose life life is MMOs? <laughs> so I just get to see see the good and the bad, and you know the in between, and see see uh, how it levels out. And like the the most uh, often repeated story is, oh, this game wanted to appeal to the hard- hardcore by either being all like player driven or by making it so there's no tutorials or whatever. The game uh, has two people playing concurrently. One of them is me. Or, yeah. or I'm the pr- first person to play, pl- to play this in five, four, in five years. He's, <laughs> he's Irish now, I guess. Whatever, whatever, whatever my shitty Irish There wouldn't be is. servers, would there? No, there are. Like, there's, there's games that... Why would you run servers for, an imp- for no one playing? That doesn't make any sense. There, there, there's not a lot of uh, upkeep. I'm assuming. Because mm. he, he has played games that... Uh, were like competing with with like uh Ultima Online and like Runescape. They they came out before WoW did exactly like a week before WoW did, and then WoW came out. Oh boy, talk about bad timing. Yeah, you're not winning this war, bud. And then like the guy guy has some fun stories to tell to tell because like for example with this one, if memory serves, uh, he told a story of like he had a guild he had guildmates in Runescape and he they wanted to play a new game. And he really wanted to play the, this game that he was reviewing, and the other other guildmates wanted to play WoW, so so he went and bought this game instead of WoW. He played for two weeks and then bought WoW. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's there, there's a lot of shit with that. There's also this MMO that people have been crowdfunding, and people uh, like multiple MMORPG focused YouTubers, which are, are apparently are a thing. Which you know they, they shouldn't su- subscribe surprise me. They shouldn't subscribe to me. Yeah, no, but <laughs> yeah, it su- shouldn't shouldn't surprise. They me. should all subscribe to me. Yes, it shouldn't surprise me because because like you know I had a friend. He was really into WoW. He showed me a bunch of like the top PvP players and whatever. So like I I was aware that MMO pe- MMO people exist on YouTube, but like I I wasn't aware that there's like MMO essayists specifically, <laughs> but. A bunch of those people came together to shit on this game, which is which his name eludes me, because it's like actual text fraud. <laughs> so <laughs> that was actually the name of the game. It was pretty crazy, really. Yeah. So there's this game. Uh, there's two people doing it, uh, working on it. One of them is an ideas man. It, it, insert comment here. And the other is a, and the other is a tits man. Yeah. The other is the programmer, the sole programmer. You're working on a game that is completely player-driven. Player you can change the environment completely. And the game it also uh, looks, looks like it's running on Unreal 5. It, it's not, but, you know, it, it's, it, it has, like, high-fidelity graphics, at least from the st- stuff that they, they are showing us, like, proof of concept. Now, here's the thing. The game was not crowdfunded, if anybody says. Well, it was, but it wasn't. Initially, it wasn't. They showed off the, the, the basic idea. Oh yeah, by the way, this whole game is also uh, hinging on them making a red code that allows 
100 plus players to play with no lag. Also known as, known as impossible. But yes. <laughs> but yes. One so, can respect the ambition, I suppose. But yes. Yeah, so, and one, once again, may I point out one programmer? <laughs> so he's he's a work he's a hard working motherfucker. How much is for certain? So, they, so they made made a proof of concept and entire game more or less. It was it was the MMO, uh, proof of concept for hey, this network network can can work. It will show it with these data that we probably made up. Whatever they went to this to this to this uh, investment firm that is very well known. It's I think it's like Y or whatever, something like that. Like it's the letter Y. Yeah, that's what they say whenever uh, you bring something up to them and to invest. Uh, hey, yeah, uh, we'd like uh, we'd like for you to invest in us. Why? No, literally, if memory serves the the investment investment firms. Logo at least is is the letter Y. <laughs> so yeah, that could alternatively be a Latin letter or a Greek letter. Excuse me. Oh yeah, it could be a Latin Latin letter. I think Latin letter, like the ones we're using right now. Yeah. But yeah, so so they went to that investment firm. They went, hey, we can make a net, net networking solution that allows 100 plus players to play with no lag. They got all of the money, and then they started crowdfunding the game too. And they got all of the money. And uh, the last time that, that we saw any footage of, of the, the game, it looked the same as the, what do you call it, the proof of concept that they showed to the investment firm. So we're pretty sure it's fraud. It's <laughs> pretty great. So yeah, there's, there's blunders like that. I mean, it, to me, it's funny in the sense like, oh yeah, speaking of funny blunders, fucking Amazon's MMO. Two worlds, not a two. <laughs> new world. Two worlds is also in that category, yes, but new world, yes. Yes, new world. Which was supposed to be aim aiming at the hardcore, and then they realized, oh shit, hardcore doesn't sell. Quickly, make it, make it like, wow, oh shit, now the hardcore players left too. <laughs> and that's, that's not even talking about the data breach that, that was like pre-release. Oh, good. Oh, did you not hear about that? No. If you signed up for the beta, I think, or something like that, of Two Worlds with Amazon, all of your uh, info from Amazon got, got leaked. Because there was some, like, login problem uh, where, where if you tried to sign in, it just instead, like, dumped all of the login info for everyone. So, name? I'm sorry, what? Yeah, something like, it was something like that, where, where if you tried to log into the game, Instead of just saying login failed or whatever, it just dumped all of the, all of the login info <laughs> for everyone. The hackers are getting more brilliant than ever. They're working on the insides. Ugh. But yeah, but you know that was pretty bad. <laughs> I I would imagine so. Yes. And yeah, the, the, that's how New Worlds is, is that, you, you know, the, the, the hardcore players left because they tried to make it more, in, more into a WoW-like like MMO, which I forget the name, name of. The new people didn't come <laughs> because it, it, was, it was built up as a hardcore MMO. And also the, the implementation of the, the WoW-like elements was bad, from what I understand. And then also the data breach, just to top it off. Yeah, yeah, the, you know, a little bit, a little bit of icing on top. Uh, which you know that that also reminds me of of like this is the this is the, what I just told you with the with the hardcore going away because they're changing it to more be like, be more like wow and the wow wow people not coming because of the hardcore stuff and the bad implementation. That's pretty much like most MMOs from what I understand. There was this like Star Wars one that was very much like player built. It it used to run, run like it, the, the game is still running as far as I understand and it started running in like 95. I don't know who's paying the bills, bills for those servers but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so 
uh yeah they they it used to be very like uh, player driven and and all that then wow came out and they went hey money so they cha completely changed the game so now now there was actually like uh quest givers and all that and people didn't like that and then they changed the combat and it was bad and people didn't like that and this went on until more. this went on until eventually like maybe i want to say like Already people played the game, if even that. As you can imagine, this was in like 2007. So since then, there's like five people playing the game. Oh. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stories like that. Where like, you know, I. Oh yeah, and then let's not talk about talk about the guest shop, which which is one of those things where like if you have a a well running uh, system, it stinks. But you know, at, at least it's serving a purpose. A lot of time, times, when I when I when I, when I see, see it in one of these games, it's like, all right, there's five people playing quickly, cash shop. Yeah. <laughs> like, what 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 was the plan? Like, well, see, a while ago we gave up on plans. Because you know the. Like it, like the the only thing that I can I could think of for like any logic behind it is like all right there's five people playing we need to close the servers but we don't we don't want those five people to raise a stink let's put in a cash up and hope that they go away. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like other than that, like, you you're making a big a big assumption that they're whales, just because they're they're still playing the game if that's that's the the idea. Yeah. Cause like whales, you know, whales are called whales because they're, you know, they're they're big spenders, but they're rare, but they make up for everyone else. If there's no everyone else, then there's less chances of whales. Yeah. But I, I, I guess they, they, uh, they don't talk about this on those seminars where it's like, hey, let's make it so you have to pay a dollar whenever Mario jumps. Oh god, that Unity guy that everybody keeps talking about said the battlefield you should pay for every bullet. No, no, it wasn't that. It was pay five bucks for every reload. Yeah, John Riticello or whatever. Yes, a, a guy who clearly did not understand the game and was just pitching that as a stupid idea in the moment. But nonetheless, somebody wrote it down and now it will live forever in infamy. Yeah. But no, no, he, he went on to say... That it, it makes sense because uh, once people are playing, well, I don't know how, how much he knew about the game, but like he, uh, he, he followed it up with, you know, if people are playing the game for like six hours, then they're not gonna, they, then when they run out of ammo, they're not gonna think, think about, oh, I need to, I have to spend five bucks for this ammo, they're just gonna reload. So. Uh. He, he, even, he even used your favorite word, word, words, immersed. Yeah. See, so a Skyrim modding that ruined immersive for me. So that 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 it's not Battlefield. I'm less likely to notice it, have it stick out. Yeah. Uh, allegedly, he he might also be behind uh Dead Space Three, which yeah. Yeah, that definitely follows. Hmm. Other big blunders that I can think of. Our Arkham Knight launch on PC. <laughs> yeah, Arkham Knight on PC. Oh boy, that one was impressive in a sense. Oh, funny blunders. The Afro Samurai game. Afro Samurai 2, correct? Because yes. Afro Samurai 1 was not great, but not terrible either, correct? I'm not sure <laughs> about 1, but 2 was definitely bad. Well, I don't think 1 was supposed to be particularly great, but... But better, maybe, yeah. Yeah.
Hmm. I'm just thinking of like DD Stead games and, and and like the, the first thing that pops up into my mind is Cyberpunk. Which yeah, that that was a funny plunder now that I think about it, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of the one I'm thinking of, like, along the lines of, like, Fallout 76, like, but really bad at launch, but they fixed it later on, which detracts from the humor. I don't know if I'd say that Cyberpunk is, is fixed. Like, Fallout 76, from what I understand, it's it's a thing of, like, you know, the people who actually, who wanted, like, a proper Fallout game got, got filtered out, and the people who are fine with doing MMO shit in, a Fallout, in the Fallout universe love it. You know, good for them. Uh... With, with Cyberpunk, it's you know it's definitely in a, in a lot better state than than at launch, but it it, it is still so, show, showing some uh, uh, remnants of launch fast or launch launch uh, Cyberpunk. I had heard there was had been nothing but improvements, but I've not been paying that much attention to it. I mean, I'm I'm watching a guy play through the the DLC. So, Phantom Liberty, yeah, yes. And like you know, the, the game looks a lot better, definitely. Like it, it, it looks a lot, lot, uh, lot more improved. But it, it's like it, it, it is at the state that it should have, should have uh, launched that. I didn't see someone say that. This is the state. Should, this is how Cyberpunk should have launched. Yeah. Like I, I can see that. You know, it, it has some, it has some growing pains. It has, you know, some bits that don't quite uh, work together or whatever. But it isn't like it. It, 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 it isn't. It's gonna break your PS, PS4. Get a refund from, refund from Sony. If Sony delays the game, bad. Yeah. Well, parts of Cyberpunk really weren't on on the whole that horrible, except that the game was the, one of the most hyped games of the generation. Yeah. Like there are much, 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 much worse games on PlayStation right now than Cyberpunk. Fucking can you still purchase dream like can you still purchase uh the Black Tiger game? I'd have to say Life of Black Tiger. Probably. I mean there's this game that I want to buy on sale because I think it would be it would be good for a one-off uh, video called Oh, what the fuck was it? It was like Wolf RPG Simulator. And I I, I saw oh, a, excellent. I saw a picture and I went trash. <laughs> and, and then I saw a video. Of it because because uh Vinny Wine Sauce played played on a shovelware uh block, and it was trash. <laughs> and, Success. Yes, like I'll get that game when it's on on sale. It, outside of sale, it's like twenty dollars. I'll get it when it's like five. Because <laughs> because it, it <laughs> to me it's worth five dollars to play that game and be like, hey, we played this game. It's stinky. I think it, like you know, that, I think there's 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 uh, there's a potential for jape for japes in the game, but like yeah. fuck that game stinks. <laughs> 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 or like, or like, or like, what about what about those like uh, women in uh, in pink leotard, leotard or whatever games? What women in pink leotard? But it, it's women. But yeah, there's two of those. What the fuck? Yeah, it's, it's it's like a shooter, I think. It's definitely shovelware, but <laughs> yeah, those exist. Let me see what I what else I can I can I conjure up from from my shovelware <laughs> repository or whatever from the PS Store. There's a there's the Bible games, which like those are those are the real, real weird ones because. They're, they're published under under like a Bible games umbrella, umbrella, but it's like ju it's just like all like Atari games <laughs> remade. <sighs> it's like you know, it's, it's like baseball, pong, baseball. <laughs> yeah, <Pong. laughs> but but what what you see the difference here? <clears throat> bless you. It's not only Atari. And it says Bible games. <laughs> Although there, there was I, that weird one. There, there were was... a lot of Barbie and Bible games on the Atari, actually. And also Custer's Revenge. But <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that part of the Bible. 
Although I, I remember there was this one game where, where it legitimately made, made me stop and think. Because it was this Bible game. I forget what it, what it was called. I forget what the actual art was. The art was bad. That's all I remember. But it was this like, it, it was this anime dealings in Bible game. That was obviously made by people oh, who are not Japanese. No. And it was obviously made by people who are not Japanese. Oh, that's so fucking bad. It was great. And there, there were there were three of those because you had to buy you had to buy all of the routes separately, and one of them was the deluxe route. Whatever that means. You might show ankle. I don't you might show ankle. I... Ah. Well, anyway, uh, good fucking lord. Yeah, speaking of or speaking of any anime, uh, weird anime bullshit. There's also Autocross, or it's Autoco Cross, I think, which is apparently a series of puzzle games. But it's just it's it's just in the name. It's it's man cross dressing, cross dressing. It's just twinks in women outfit, in women's outfits. Also mahjong, maybe I don't know. What what sort of puzzle? Mahjong. Yeah, I actually do. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you, whenever, I think whenever. I was playing. I was playing mahjong differently back in my day, but nonetheless. But whenever whenever, whenever you you play mahjong, do do twinks not just start to undress from from their maid outfits? I guess I was doing it wrong all these years. Uh, like I, I remember that one both because whenever I see it, I'm just like, "What the fuck? Why?" Because <laughs> because it's it's on sale a lot. Because in, who who the tongue? There's not not a lot of people who really want to buy autocross. But yeah, it, it's it's also one of those things where where like if I knew that there wasn't any sauce shit in it, I I would do it for 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 a laugh, just because like what. Why? <laughs> like the, the the sheer existence of this is ridiculous. I need I need to know why. What? what well, you know someone... why? It's horny is still horny, even if horny has the thing being hornified has a penis. I mean, true. I, I just like, what you say is true at the same time. I can't I can't comprehend. <laughs> like you can. <laughs> this is a this is a this is a, uh, an inter interesting simile that I just came up with, but like you know the autocross and and stuff like this for me is just like okay, so here's this game about Cthulhu, and like it's it's actually it's actually just like a, a excerpt from the Necron Necronomicon. <laughs> and like, why? I'm, I'm just saying saying that, that, that like it, you know that that shit like it's just so. Like I, I can't understand it. I, I, I get it. Like once again, what you say is true. I understand that. At the same time, I cannot comprehend. So like, so it's it's this it's like going places. <laughs> oh fuck! Could be worse. Could be fucking uh, angels with scaly wings. Or what was it? Six bunnies. So there's this game. Uh, this shovelware. I'm pretty sure it's a dating sim. Probably I don't fucking know. All I know is there's this game called like Six Bunnies on the PlayStation Store. If you try to search it up on on PC, it doesn't exist because it's called Six Girls. Because PlayStation didn't allow for the the original dating sim to be put on put on the the PlayStation Store, so they just remade the game with with the intros. For some reason. Now, here's, oh. here's the notable thing, though. The art on the on the bunny version is better. <laughs> I see. Like it is like it, you know. It, just overall, it, the art is better made. They got a better artist for for the the the, the PlayStation version than than the original one. Ah, uh, fucking shovel there. <laughs> Yeah. Why can't I ninja? Why can't I buy Ninja Bread Man on my PlayStation Four? 
because Sony is censoring you. True. Jim Jim Ryan came to my house and deleted all of my Wii U games from his PlayStation. <laughs> Make, make it as absurd as you can. He <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Jim Ryan came to my house and then burned all of my retro games. Jim Ryan came to my house and he pissed on my wife. That's right, he pissed on my fucking wife. And he said, and said he his, said dick, his was dick was this big. And I said, you, that's disgusting. So that's make- disgusting. So I'm making a call out post on my ex.com. Jim Ryan. Oh yeah! That that make that puts that whole bit in a new light, huh? Yeah. Jim Ryan. You got a small 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 dick. It's the size of this small dick except way smaller. It's the size of this wall not except way smaller. Uh Let's see other other big like funny blunders that I can think of. Hmm. The Dreamcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And everybody knows at least one person who goes. No, but like the Dreamcast was the best console. It just didn't get the love it needed. I mean, wasn't it pretty ex- expensive? It's... Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. You have it. <laughs> It always boils down to, okay, back to the padded cell, bud. Yeah. No, no, you don't get it. The 3DO was great. Plumbers, plumbers wear, wear ties. The game of plumbers generation. don't wear ties! Yeah, that, that one. You fucking fool! You dumb <laughs> idiot. But it's plumber don't, don't, don't wear ties getting, getting ported to the PS5 with ray tracing. It is actually getting ported to PS4 now. It is. Yeah, L- limited run games is making a making a limited run of it. Hence the name. But wait, are they not going to re- release it like the uh, digital? I don't know. It's limited run games. I don't know much about limited run games. I, they probably will release it digital, but their physical w- will get a limited run. Yeah. And we need to go ahead and call this as my earbuds have run out of battery. All right. So, folks and motherfuckers, we will see you later, huh? Huh? Huh, Addy? You, you think we're going to see him later? Perhaps. I don't know, will we? I mean, this is, this, is, this, is a pretty, this is a pretty smelly crowd. I think we can get a better one. Bye. Oh.